has changed pretty significantly. That's neat. I didn't even have to download an update. Uh, yep, there we go. Alright, let me get the posts out. Boop, should be there on Twitter. The Twitters. Twitter. I have made the retweeties. posts to the channels. Alright. But yeah, so tomorrow uh, is birthday stream and uh, Ark was nice enough to gift me Disco Elysium, so I'm gonna play that. Oh, I heard that's really good. That's gonna be an interesting stream game. <laughs> I'll say that much as somebody who started streaming it and was like, this is a bit much to stream. I'm gonna play the rest of off stream and then never ended up finishing it. Nice. Because I was never in the right mindset to finish that game. That, I mean, same. <laughs> it is a, it is a, it on stream, like, but poof, it is, is a heavy, it's a, it's heavy. Game. Yeah, it's a super heavy game. Hmm. Like, oh, so lots, heavy. lots and lots and lots of content warnings for things like suicide, self-harm, Oh, uh, alcoholism. Might, might not yeah, be a good it game is. For it. it is not a game you want to play. It, you want to. I didn't know about all that. That's yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah. They, the trailers no, make games. it seem like a kind of grim satire to like detective right. stuff. Right. Oh, yeah, it, uh, it is. You're talking about uh, what's it called? But also, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. also like the, yeah, the entire game is fighting with your brain to not kill yourself. Not okay. the entire game, but a very, very large portion. portion of yeah, it. a lot of things on like you know. Drug That's abuse why and I, things like I've that. returned the game, which was interesting because I didn't know until that, uh, like until I returned Disco Elysium, I didn't know you could return games on Steam. Yep. Yeah, there's a certain. There are certain. Yeah, but it's pretty it, rare. Is it good though? It's. I've heard it's good, amazing. It's a really good game. It's just like. It's really heavy, and you should know that going in. Mm. Yeah, I that's guess fair. I mean, I think was... I think being prepared for it makes that a little easier. Then I'll be sure to put up content warnings. It, it's it sounds like it's a little bit uh, akin to uh, Hellblade, uh, how they how of. Um. Uh, I can't hear anybody. Hold on. I think something messed up on my end. No. <laughs> it was re. It was oh, your. Oh, no, their no, mic. Oh, was something. Like, yeah, something like messed it. up. <laughs> on, something messed up on my <laughs> end. Uh, it, it, oh, uh -oh. oh, thank God! OBS uh, can immediately re-recognize the noises, so I don't have to restart the stream. Great. Uh, That's yeah. helpful. Sorry, Shane, you were saying. Um, but it sounded similar to like how play how like the character you play it has like an extreme case of uh, psychosis. It's. I think it's more than that is the thing for Disco Elysium. Like, Disco Elysium has a lot of different themes that all feed into it, and it's not just the character. And, like, like Hellblade, it's very much like there are parts where it's like you're dealing you're dealing with uh, Cinema's psychosis and, su and such. Um, or, like, and that's, like, a big, par a big part of the game. It's a big part of the game in Disco Elysium as well, but Disco Elysium, it's like you're in the real world, like, the whole time the real world, the world of Disco Elysium, I should say. Um, yeah, because... And you have, and you have very... Fantasy world, but... Yeah, and you have very real things, like, you have, you have, like, you meet a fascist in the first, like, ha half hour of the game. Um, you, like, and you're dealing with, like, big political conflicts, because one of the first things that happens is, like, hey, is being told, hey, you're a police officer, you're here to go investigate a murder. Um, and, like, like ninety percent of the people treat you like crap because you're a police officer. Um, and there's right a whole thing about. Right I was like, that's twenty twenty mood. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel that's only topical recently. I mean, <laughs> it's only yeah. been it's only been spotlighted recently. Yeah, that's there yeah. we go. Um, yeah, it's it, it's and it's the thing of like the. 
because the murder feeds into the whole like political situations going on because there's a strike going on at the docks and like yeah play the game play the game it's a really good game but like also keep in mind there's like a lot of content warnings for that game you're gonna That's play it. also a lot a lot a lot of reading yeah i'll be prepared uh, for that i have because <laughs> yeah because it's a because it's a crpg so is there voice voice work in it yes. a little bit but uh, i mean there is a lot of voice work for the main plot hmm. but um there's also a lot of stuff that is like dealing with your own care like each one of your stats is like a facet of your personality and they have opinions mm. and not all of those are most of those are not voiced so gotcha. the the stats being parts of facet of your personality is one of my favorite parts of the game no it's um, fantastic because... but it also means that it, since there's what is it uh like 15 there's uh, um there's like 24 of 12. them or something like that. Oh god. It's, it's a ridiculous number of different stats, right? There's like there's like 4 by 7 so it is 20 it is like 24, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, the each one of them you can only add to a certain number of them, so everybody's playthroughs are going to be that much different from each other based on what you uh put points into because those facets of your personality are then going to present you with new options that you might not have otherwise had hmm. and occasionally force you to do things that you might not have wanted to do yeah it's basically there 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 are four categories and all of the all of the stats are divided into those four categories so there's like one that deals with more like like your like what we would probably consider like mental stats so things like um knowing drama and like knowing drama and arts and like knowing like history that kind of stuff is like one ca is in one category mm -hmm. and then there's like physical abilities um and then there's two other ones and it's been a while i haven't touched the game in a while but um there's things like they because it's faster personality there's everything from like ranging from one of the stats is just authority it's your ability to present yourself as an authority figure mm -hmm. um and it is of course as you might expect as a fast your personality, very authoritarian. Um, mm. Versus something like, oh gosh, there's one that has to do with chemistry. Um, oh. <laughs> but it's basically, that one is basically the drug addict one. <laughs> yep. Um, it really, really wants you to get magnesium as well as, well as other things. Um, I will pick up the game eventually, but whenever I do, based on this information, I'm totally making my cop an art history major. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's Just because it would be amazing. hysterical. It, I, I mean, can. it is actually. There's definitely one piece of of the story that I'm missing because my art is low and I can't interpret what this mural means. Oh, the mural! Yep, yep. I was. I had the stats for the mural. <laughs> <laughs> I had the stats for it. I did um, not have the stats for the mural, and it makes me a little sad. Yeah, there's a whole whole storyline with the artist, and she hates you. Um, uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> like like many people, the game she hates you. Uh, it's nah. It's like again, it is a it is it is a really good game. It just like, like one of the stats is a spiritus corpus, basically you're being a police officer stat. Yeah, you're a. Uh, I think it's a spirit of core because it's French. I, I can't Something speak. Like that. You know, First of all, words. it's been hella days. Second of all, Set, fuck good French. Point. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, apologies. Well, damn. Our, take that, France. <laughs> any of our French or Canadian well, it wasn't, viewers? It wasn't fuck France. It was fuck French. 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 Yeah, which is why I'm apologizing to our Canadian viewers as well. Those who <laughs> speak French. But Shay, you are right. I mean, it does. It is dealing with some some of the themes that are similar in Hellblade. Um, and like, I would also for people who play Hellblade be like content warnings for like. You know, dealing with mental trauma. Oh yeah, we, uh, we did play. when she. Yeah, played, was, was... that was the first thing I streamed ever. Yeah, mm. when you when you know that mm. stuff, you gotta make that warning and take it seriously, which is. That was I think, me with. Oh god. Uh, the thing I I I loved about Hellblade is that they never confirm whether or not what she was seeing was real or not. Um, so you can like interpret it any number of ways. Yeah, they did a really good job with that game. It was incredible. Uh, it was, it's a masterpiece. Yeah. 
Uh, I... I had to do, like, there have been a variety of games where I'm like, hey, content warnings, like, the second the, the second time I played Sleeping Dogs. Um, and I've had stuff where, like, uh, I never finished Dead Space 2 because there was a scene where I was like, I can't do this, and I, and I stopped playing it. Um, even though there's, like, three or four chapters of the game afterwards because there's no way to get past the specific scene without doing a QTE that squicks me out. Mm. Um, no, so. that's fair. Like, yeah. I saw that QTE and I'm like, I'm, I'm largely not aware of it, but I know that yeah, I I've never heard Dead, of it. I avoid Dead Space because all of it makes me. I I like the Dead Space. I like Dead Space One, and I like most of Dead Space Two. I will describe in scant detail the Dead Space Two thing specifically that that squicks me out. It's mm. you are quite literally putting a needle in your eye. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah, I do. I do recall hearing about yeah. that. So. Yeah, yeah, no, that's okay. Um, because there was there was somebody in my stream who was disappointed I didn't go further past that because he mm. had given me the game and I was like, yeah, I can't. I'm sorry. It's like genuinely can't. Sorry. Yeah. Not my thing. I I put that in one of my recent. Um, I started. A, I I'm. Uh, I do a Band of Blades game off stream that I play in and, um, in the consent form because Band of Blades is a horror game, partly. Um, I was like, I had th one of the things that I'm very happy is on the consent form, um, on the like consent checklist is eyes, because I have a thing about like you know not poking people's eyes and stuff because that, ugh, not not my thing, not my thing. So I was I was happy to put that and discuss that with my GM. And be like, yeah, I ain't I ain't about that. <laughs> what about them eyeballs? Uh, but you know what we are about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we had different responses. It makes it better. No, um, Shay and I were on, on the same page. <laughs> we're 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 here to wield things with two hands, uh, because if it's one hand, it ain't big enough, and it's three hands, you're a chaos mutant, and why are you here? Or and a samurai pirate. Your... That too. You know, look, many things. Or look, you're when just I have your friend. When I have six guns. <laughs> and holsters going like like holster is like just connected to uh, um, uh, a corset just like going down down my bottom just like bang 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 bang. All you need to do is find that your closest Amici and they will hook you up with some extra arms. You'll be good to go. It's ah, fine. there you go. See, new, new your scum and villainy character could be a character with six. Oh, that's true. <laughs> six blaster pistols. Octopus uh, cat. Yes. Cat with six guns. Cat with six guns. Beep, beep, beep. Done, I played done I, done. one last tangent before we actually get back in the game. I played in the <laughs> I played in an Eclipse Space campaign, and one of the other player characters was a child stern a child star turned pirate Neo Octopus who wielded four plasma plasma rifles. Can you repeat nice. that for me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, a child star turned pirate Neo Octopus who wielded four plasma rifles at once. Oh, <laughs> it's just the uh, it's just the 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 Hanar cop from uh from <laughs> from Mass Effect Mass Effect yeah, yeah. the Hanar cop's got like like oh nice several guns <laughs> he's just got holding them with tentacles good pull I haven't thought of Mass Effect in so long that yeah. the last game just made me so I sad. I started playing Star Wars the Old Republic um, oh such so. a good game. It's it, I I I'm playing. I have a trooper and an imperial agent because apparently the imperial agent storyline is amazing. Imperial agent is probably my favorite storyline in the whole game. I so to be clear, uh, I've played like literally everything all the way to completion. Oh, I am I'm a nice. Star Wars junkie. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Um, so you're, if you're... you ever need help with Old Republic, let me know. I'll I'll, I'll hit you up. <laughs> Um, the only ones but, I did was uh, Bounty Hunter oh. and uh, Agent. Bounty Hunter is definitely fun too, but Imperial Agent is the the story is just fantastic. I like Bounty Hunter more. All I played was a Jedi Consular, and that one was fun and relevant to 2020 because you were dealing with space plague. <laughs> I was Republic say. scum, space plague, space plague. Yeah, Republic we're... scum, get your yeah. nonsense out of here. I, yeah, I was. Well, I was. Well, I was. Here, here's the thing. Star Wars will be next time. Uh, currently, we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm, that's true. We should play Star yeah. Wars eventually. Some of us, most of us. I will time. look. How about we just have a two-handed lightsaber? 
I I I, pl I play in a Star Wars scum and villainy game. It's great. Um, there is a hack called H Hive. Of, it's I think it's called Hive of Scum and Villainy. That is the uh, starting listen, hack. I would be I would be Star willing to put up Muscle Cat for a little while if we did that too. But you're already <laughs> playing one, so, so I wouldn't want you to double up. Uh, but anyway, we have this. We got this. So last we time, do. last time was a, a bit of a a prep episode, you might say. A prep episode, you might a prep say. Episode. A prep episode. That's um, the worst. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? We're a new GM for the <laughs> last episode. <laughs> that name hurts. That word hurts fire. my soul. I could just burn everything down because this is my this is the last for Spyhander. <laughs> I can burn down the, the Republic of Sadef. It's my city. It's yeah, our this city. Is, this is Saints like burn down the office building because I'm rich, bitch. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the storyteller. I can do what I want. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm... I've always hated you. Get That's... out. Nah, I got, I got, I have GM principles. Even, even if Spyhander <laughs> doesn't, even Spyhander doesn't provide them, I still go the PBTA route of I have principles in this game that I have to adhere to. So that is very um, responsible of you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, but we, we did some. We, they, we are gathering allies, getting access ways into the Opal Districts because the Opal District had been cordoned off, cordoned off by the Lost Scions. Uh, and figured out where the cult summoning's happening, which was the halls of the Guild Council. You know, the literal center of the city. So, yep. we also got a big old wagon full of coal. Yep. Yeah, that was my dad. That is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, smart idea. Iluka's got big ideas. I, I approve. Of Galaxy brain. Galaxy brain. They or are the smarter pants. Yeah. Also, I do have to figure out what they what's happening with the Azalon right now because I'm pretty sure they're still here, and I hadn't nice. thought about that until like now, and I'm thinking, hmm. Oh, what that's the lizard, lizard people? people think of this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what are the lizard people think of this? We, they're, they, I'll tell you what, they're they're upset that that they're attacking the city, and are going to go fight the the people who are coming to invade, and then it's just a three way naval battle that we don't have to worry about ever. Uh, yeah, you, you, don't like you wish that was the case. We're all on our side during against the demon at the end. Of the we'll we'll see what they're actually most upset about because currently, currently, what I have in my head is they're most upset about the fact that the city that they're supposed to be getting tribute from is burning down around them. Um, ah. So <laughs> we lose more you know tributes what? this way. It's their fault they they came here. <laughs> well, the now they get people. to now they get to shout about their superiority because obviously. If if you weren't just if you weren't just lowly humans and you were as Azatlan, this would never happen. I feel oh, like they're just well, gonna walk into the Opal District and start picking expensive shit up and then like leave and be like, "Thank you for your tribute." <laughs> Probably, maybe it might happen. <laughs> that would be amazing, but we'll get to that. <laughs> um, but yeah, everyone oh, everyone God. is basically ready. Ex ex I mean. I look as ready as they can be by virtue of the fact that they can't walk. I ain't got no legs. <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody wants to put them on the wagon uh, and take them off before you set off the you 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 know, I'm glad you I'm glad you reminded us because it probably would have slipped our minds. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, it wouldn't have just slipped the players' minds; it would have <laughs> slipped the characters' minds too. Mm. Wow! Nobody cares about Iluka. Rude. We, we, we love Iluka. It's not the caring thing. It's more uh, Iluka is a forgettable person. We um. It's not that we want to kill Iluka. It's that we want her to not be alive anymore. I mean, to be fair, everybody could die this session, and that would be a good finale too. That's fair. Um, that is this game, to be fair. You the fact that no. The fact that nobody has actually died has has been has been has not sated the the prince of the prince of violence's uh, quota. Well, you know, you, know, you, step up you say game. that, but um, shoot, where is it? Actually, Iluka has technically died once. Let's let's Te let's be fair. Te mm -hmm. Technically, yeah, technically um, died. I mean, we're we're going to face down face down the leader of a cult. Or a heathen, if you will, and uh, I'm fully aware that that my my uh, my death 
thing says the heathen will cut you down. So uh, you oh, that's you. true. <laughs> ah, yes, stream time, just in time for the thunderstorms oh, yeah. to start right, up. Let's, let's, we let's... haven't seen any flies, so I think I think that uh, I kick is well, fine. How about how about at the start of this, everybody? What's your damage and, and peril threshold? Everyone's peril threshold should be clear. Uh, yes. Should be at unhindered. But what's your damage threshold? This is uh, I am still lightly wounded. I am uh, unharmed. Unharmed. Vice is unharmed. Excellent. I am not unharmed. That, you are that was quite harmed. <laughs> I am moderately wounded. Okay. Uh, so, and the other question here is, uh, what's everybody's dooming? Let's let's get around to that since the, this is oh, really the end. My, so, mine, I don't think, is going to come up. Uh, spring, beware the fairy rings and standing stones. You say that. <laughs> you say that. <laughs> Just so happens. Oh. Oh. I hope, I hope you, so. Have you Have you ever <laughs> been to the hall? Been to the halls of the Gilded Council? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, Vice is easy. Vice's oh. is uh, the unlit path is the most dangerous. Mm. Mine is the stench of the grave follows you. Mine is summer. The heathen will cut you down. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Three flies bring your doom. Oh jeez. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be a decay demon in a cultist place around a bunch of standing oh. stones. And it's gonna be dark. <laughs> and it's gonna be dark. It's gonna be in the dead of night. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, well, it's like, well, it's rude. It, the cult is kind of like a light cult, which is. Weird. It is. It's literally a light cult, but you know you could still die in the dark. That's possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, if you go blind, everything's dark. I was just gonna say, hey, yeah. it could mean they're gonna like shoot something really bright and blind us, and then murder us. I mean, sure. if you're if you're blind, you still sense light. It just hurts. Oof. Look, we're we're going off of motifs here. <laughs> okay. Get your yeah. get your reality out. Pro- prophecies are not literal. They are very much abstract. <laughs> exactly. Precisely. I mean, if they were literal, we would we would be in for a very bad time right now. All of you would be dead. Why do you think um, I went and saw Calliope before this all went down? Fair. <laughs> Didn't confess fair. her love. Oh well. And she did. Calliope just, didn't pick Calliope just didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fine. She only loves herself. And the <laughs> princess and the prince's money. Ah, there's the narcissist. <laughs> <Thank you>. um, <laughs> there it is. Uh, okay, so we come back to everybody outside I Lucas shack. Um, there is a a group of uh, a group of stevedores with a wagon full of coal. Um, and there are a few of your other allies, including Ivy, who is here. They got mm-hmm. their their musket over their shoulder. They're looking, you know, really dirty because they don't have time to go and wash up before we're going to assault a place or something. They aren't really clear on what's happening here either. Um, <laughs> Probably give her the full rundown. Yeah. They, like, I think they get it enough, but they're also just like... My part in this is to shoot people and make sure you don't die. <laughs> That's fair. Um, that checks out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so, what are y'all gonna do? You got, you got your stuff, you got your allies gathered. How do you wanna, how do you wanna get into here? Uh, Again, if this were Blades, I, this would be an engagement role, but it's mm-hmm. not, so. If, if I remember correctly, uh, Iluka was able to pinpoint not just where the thing in the Opal District was, but uh, also things that were in the other districts as well? Yes. Yes, but Iluka definitely prefaces that they think it, they're, they're theoretical locations. I have good, I have it in good faith that they are correct, but still. So theory. what I was actually thinking was we could probably contact Bahar to get us in, because he has regular access to us. We also so. have, we also have, uh, Cassandra here can get us in. Oh, I suppose you're that right. works too. I might be able to pull a few strings. I was thinking that uh, we could send messages to our allies, though, Bahar included. Um, with Ayuka coming up with these locations, theoretical or otherwise, they may be able to disrupt what is there with their influence. Bahar for the Emerald District, uh, the judge for the Ruby. I can contact uh, my people for the Lapis District. Yeah, this, 
this time I'm gonna go a little bit out out of character here. Uh, Y'all have gathered all the allies and such that you could contact people and just have them deal with like the minor sites. Yeah. While that's what you, I... the Iron Loop, go for you know go for the major site. That yeah. was my that was what I was thinking, but I want to confirm that that's what y'all are. That yeah, it sounds exactly like exactly what I'm saying yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a, that exactly like the plan that I thought we were doing, but I yeah. guess we never actually said out loud. It... Yeah. No. Nobody <laughs> said it out loud. They just assumed we that all was the plan, knew, which is good. Which there was is a, good. There was a slow there was a slow page. head nod yeah. to each of us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, but we have like we have like allies in at least five different districts that we could just send pigeons to. Yeah, I mean you have like like the College of Clergy are going to help you. Um, the Shovelers can help you out. The Judge slash, there are probably uh, the Judge is going to contact some groups in the Ruby District to help mm -hmm. you out. Um, obviously Bahar is out in the Emerald Districts, and then mm -hmm. Bloodstone District. You have some friends. We, we, we haven't talked too much about it because you haven't been there that much. Uh, but, you know, you had your roller friends, uh, Yorham, Yorham, Yordam, right. and Jez. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you got y'all got some friends everywhere. Okay. And uh, I believe Iluka had uh, some shoveler friends, yeah, if I remember Badria. correctly. Badria, yeah. That's yeah. that's how they got the, uh, the cult mm -hmm. as well. So, yeah, uh, y'all have people everywhere. <laughs> Can someone start writing these uh, these messages? Quick messages. We can send them to uh, uh, via the pigeons. I'm pretty sure only one of us can write. Yeah, it, Everyone two people. That Iluka? Iluka can as well, I believe. <laughs> that yes, certainly is not vice. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Aluka's uh, leg is broken, so they can't write anymore. <laughs> yeah, I write. I only know how to write with my. <laughs> yeah, that sounds accurate for Iluka. Let's very peculiar, not lie. very peculiar writing style you have. Uh, um, no, but yeah, uh, no I think I've seen that help. before. Just write it all down. Yep. Uh, Assault this position. Take it down. All right, let's do this, and then we'll get into the Opal District. All right. Yeah. So you write out some messages, and you, it, you, you, you have. Mirjana go to a pigeon roost and get all of them out because this is her job. She sends messages, and so she gonna she gonna get that done. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. yeah, how are y'all gonna get into the Opal Districts? I'm a I'm a ride on a cart or something. <laughs> I don't know. My my fate depends on everybody else's decision. That's so true. That's fair. To get into the Opal District, I was gonna say that it's pretty easily that we should be able to get in with Bahar's help and just say, like, we're emissaries of Bahar, so we need to get in to protect the, um... What's the, the main thing where they, they meet? The the halls of the Gilded Council. There you go. Yeah. Question. Yeah. Uh, are we able to get the rickshaw to pull the cart that I leave us in? <laughs> <laughs> that, is a, that is a pull. That is a pull. Um... Yeah, sure. It, he, he, uh, they can certainly help. They, the yeah, rickshaw they is good people. Yeah, the <laughs> rickshaw is good people. It's true. The rickshaw ha had a rickshaw that had their rickshaw broke down near here, and so they were just waiting for y'all. <laughs> the rickshaw um, is more than happy to help. I think, it's like, I think work. the other, th I think the other thing is that, um, the like the actual wagons also be pulling by like a couple of donkeys, uh, cause, you know, you gotta have some mules to pull all of this coal. But the rickshaw oh, yeah. will help. The rickshaw will be here with you, mm -hmm. um, because the, the rickshaw like, will draw the cart. Like we said, the rickshaw is good people. <laughs> I'm satisfied with this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, it's so let's 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 let's. This group is the five of you, Ivy, the rickshaw. Who else is here right now? Oh, the Steve, uh, Zanu and her stevedores. Um, it's just it's just a big group. God damn, I love it. Definitely. I mean, Zanu doesn't have to continue helping. She did. That's her true. Part, but that's true. I mean, if she wants to get into some ruckus, like that's that's all. I her. that's a good question. I don't know if she'll actually come with you because she's she cares more about the the Lapis District. Yeah. Um. So she might not. She might just be like, "We did you," yeah, because she said that was the la that was a favor. Yeah. So n no, you. She's not with you. It's only the seven of you. Seven is it's still only the seven. You only seven. Yeah. Only. Uh, um. 
of reason. Yeah, we you you pass through like you you ride out the Lapis District. I, Luca, you're on the cart. Um, so, Saint, before we go, while Miriada yeah. is sending out messages, uh, does she happen to know where the lizard people are? <laughs> Let's recruit the lizards too. So, Did you so ask her. <laughs> yes. Okay. I would like to ask her, like, Miriana, do you happen to know where those lizard people are? I'm going to leave it up to chance, because I don't know if she would, but They're she all might. They're all tied to uh, she definitely altars. doesn't. No. Um, yeah, she's just like, uh, I thought they left. Did they not? Um, can I roll a rumor? Sure. <laughs> um, that... It's going to be. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a difficult rumor check okay. uh, for this. I will uh, challenge it. I che whatever minus twenty is. Think I minus might be. I can assist hard. if you want. Okay. Yes, please. All right. Hiya. There's my assist. It doesn't help. Uh, I. Nope. Yeah. No, no. Neither of you got it. <laughs> <laughs> neither of you got it. That, that um, minus 20 is tough. I, it, I wanted to see, I was just going to send them a message like, hey, just so you know, they, they have your tribute at the Gilded Council building and they just show up during all this chaos. <laughs> I, oh, get, sending, a, sending a missive to, that, to that would the be lizards so funny. <laughs> would be really funny, but you wouldn't be able to see the reaction. Hey, um, hey, at the very least, they could have come at the last second to save us. That would have been pretty amazing. I mean, they still could. Uh, it's, not like, it's not like you haven't seen them yet. Uh, yeah, you just don't. Like, I, you, I will. Like, how about maybe? this? To, to kind of like leave it open, I will say, uh, Miriana, if anybody like sees the the lizard folk, if they are still around, please uh, give them the message that their tribute is available in the um, the the council chambers in the Opal, Opal District. I look at him and I go, "You're fucking crazy." <laughs> <laughs> Just blinks a few times, just like you, you, you really expect me to go walk up to one of them and just tell them, "Hey, here's where your tribute is." You, you don't have to walk up to one. You just send them a pigeon. They, they eat pigeons. It's I like, mean, they can. <laughs> eat they eat the message. Message. I don't care. <laughs> I look, look, Vice. We have been friends for a while, but this. <laughs> This is this is one step too far. <laughs> maybe you should maybe you should get stop taking I Lucas tonics, huh? Because uh, I think they're they're doing something to your head, huh? No, don't do that. You are my best customer. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like, no, don't do that. The withdrawal will kill you. <laughs> I mean, there's, my, there's my charm roll. I would like to charm roll her to do it. I uh, I mean I would have asked you for it if th that was a thing. She just has other things. She's she, oh, she, she, not gonna roll. Yeah, she she's gonna. She has a, like this is against like the charm roll wouldn't wouldn't be like wouldn't considering the current situation. This is putting her in more danger than she wants to be, <laughs> especially because she's like she's like. Do you want to be, because she's pretty sure by virtue of the fact that they hadn't left, they were probably in the Opal District, and she's not gonna encounter them anyway. <laughs> um. So. All right. But she's got other messages sent for you. So she's just like, look, Vice, if you see them, you can tell them. I certainly will. Good. I I wish you the best of luck with that one, because I am doing something else entirely. Okay? <laughs> Goodbye. And <laughs> she runs off. <laughs> Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. Uh, All right, let's go. There we go. So... Uh, you you take you take the wagon um, you and you I have called now called it a cart and a wagon and I'm probably gonna call it something else within the next five minutes so Cartagon. it's probably Cartagon. a cart it's probably a cart yeah wagon a uh, wagon I'm it like a cart okay um, I'm drawing yeah, so... it very chillingly oh my god um, the children are screaming so loud today no. Oh. Uh, so you go through um, you go through the Bloodstone District, uh, which is um, which is there are there are speakers out in force tonight for sure or th today I should say because y'all are smart and not doing this during during the night. Um, Vice would not. <laughs> I'd be like, nope. I mean, there, there's a time of day where you have to do it because that's when the ah uh, that's true. Yeah. Um, 
So there, there are people out. There are speakers out in force today. Like there is someone at every single corner shouting about, um, sh spouting, spouting everything from you know, uh, spouting everything from, like what's happening in like the block that they're in to revolution to doom saying just like it, it anything and everything that comes to their all mind the now is time. yeah all the good stuff um <laughs> it, yeah there's just massive crowds like people reading off of off of like pamphlets and uh and just random scraps of paper they found that have like revolutionary sayings or whatever um you know it's it's fine there's definitely they they definitely could not they they could be getting people together and they are uh, but how, where those people go, you'll have to find out later. This just um, in, fruits and vegetables are, <laughs> have, been, have been shown to help you grow 30% faster. <laughs> yep, exactly. And there you go. Perfect. Carrots. Damn pop ups. That was, somebody, that, that was somebody who actually picked up, like, some student's th uh, university thesis, <laughs> because the university is in the Bloodstone District. Yeah. <laughs> Um, there's definitely another one where they're reading off like a like a recipe from a witch, um, <laughs> so you know you need As like you eyes of nude and also uh, fine silks of a slain noble, um, you know the huge. Uh, <laughs> but you get to the gates, and there and the Opal District does have literal gates uh, for the Opal District. Um, there are parapets. There's like. Uh, I, like iron banded gates at the front um, and there are guards and of course all the guards are lost scions so they're richly dressed um, armored up they all are wearing some sort uh, they're all wearing some sort of sword uh, because they wouldn't be caught dead with spears what are they the yeah, common rabble spears. <laughs> um, hey spears are dope <laughs> look I personally like spears but they don't uh but yeah, and of course, like there's some who are on the walls who have a combination of like crossbows and guns. So I kind of look over to like Cassandra, you're up. <laughs> I'll approach with her. <clears throat> we'll walk up. The uh, greetings, fellow uh, mercenary friends. Uh, yeah, and w one of them walks like walks up to you, and of course they recognize your uh, they recognize your scion. Uh, uh, because of how richly dressed you are, of and course. also wearing a sword and all that, you, I have a really you got great yeah, yeah, yeah. You you you're very recognizable as a scion. You're just like nods, nah, just like ah, we're well out on special assignment, were we? That's uh, that I is. Uh, my friends and I are going to be needing to head inside, though. We have special permission, and I'll hold up the the I can do anything I want badge. Yeah, they're they're gonna walk over and take it, um, and like look at it. They they actually like they walk back and read it over and just like I'm gonna go with them, but I'm gonna drape an arm over like the one who's holding it and be like showing the flake slayer friend around, showing them what they're missing, not getting to hang with us and all. Mm. Give, them a, give them a light nudge in the show or the side. It sounds like you want to charm them. I That's do. That's what it sounds like to me. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. I would love um, to charm them. Yeah, uh, do, do the charm. Yep. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, it's just going to be standard, yeah. Standard. Because yeah, we're on the same level. Mm-hmm. Right, here we go. That's right. You are on the same level. If you weren't an aristocrat, this would be very difficult. <laughs> very awkward <laughs> pretending to be a... Oh, nice. There you go. Um, okay. Yes, they they they're just like they're like reading over this this like I can do what I want paper, um quote unquote I can do what I want paper. <laughs> That's what I call it. And and you're you're telling us like now is a really bad time to be showing people around. I know, but uh, you know sometimes I mean have you seen her? And she like wiggles her eyebrows. It's, uh, just do me this solid for a change, huh? All right, fine. Look, if I get in, if 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 the commander finds out, you're responsible. Of course. Uh, but, but, and they put a finger up. I do need to do something in front of her. Uh, come with me. 
uh, and they <laughs> walk you back to to in front of the cart, mm-hmm. and they rip up the they rip up the I can do what I want paper. In oh, front I'm of gonna you. stop them. Oh, no. uh, okay, all right, yeah, you certainly can try. Um, mm-hmm. you, what do you what do you do? Um, I'm going to. I'm mostly watching out of curiosity as to why that was why what what, the, what they wanted to do. Um, You'll, they were going to say something, but they're they're getting interrupted right now. Yeah. I'm I'm going. Well, I'm not gonna let them tear it up. I'm gonna grab their arm, and just like look at them and say, "What exactly do you think you're doing?" Oh, I'm making things very clear for you. We're the law here, and you are not. I don't care about what any judge says. You got it? Have you ever? Have you ever killed anyone personally? Yes, I have. You can also stop grabbing me. Thank you. Doesn't really matter. They push you off. And if you don't want to die right now, you can just go on in with your friend. This will be where Cassandra kind of slides in and is like, Okay, well, I think that we've made a fine point of who is in charge around here. And she, like, winks to the other scion. <laughs> and she's like, Cassandra... <laughs> And she's like, Cassandra, don't you worry. I'll be having a firm talk with them later about uh, touching things that don't belong to them. And I'll give her a wink and be like, why don't we all just call it even? And you let us through now. Yeah, they fold it up. They don't rip it up, luckily for you. They fold it up and just, like, pass it back to you. And just, like... She's going to be traveling with me. And as long as I'm a scion through here, my law is her law. And she has to follow it. She's acting on behalf of me while she's inside. She or any of your... And, she, and they, they motion to the rest of the party. The rabble. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, any of your... Squalid compatriots make any trouble, it's on your head. Of course. I'll be making sure that they don't cause any trouble outside of what's necessary. Hmm. Good. Get the hell in there. We don't want to. We don't want people seeing we're letting people in. Cause a ruckus. And uh, Cassandra will give a whistle and a head nod to the others to get in quick. I'll and enter, I, but I'm I, memorizing I, that guy's face. Yeah. Oh, uh, I can give them a description because <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> um, yeah, they are. Um, they are like in their late twenties. Um, late twenties, like. Uh, dark skin uh they have like shorn hair like shorn black hair um and green eyes and they like they stand they're like pretty tall like they're probably like uh six foot um yeah and they have uh they have like a um they have like a fairly prominent uh cheek scar got it I'm not going to give them a name, because I'm not making up more... In- I'm not going to do it! Here. I don't know the best episode. <laughs> not today. Um, but not yeah, today. You are, the, the gates open, and you are all let through uh, into the Opal District. So, we have been to the Opal District once before. It's been a while. The last time we were here uh, was somebody meeting up with Mr. Bahar. Uh, because Mr. Rahar had just won a court case. Yeah, I'm also tucking my I can do anything I want badge uh, under my leather so it can't be grabbed again. <laughs> okay. Probably best you don't be waving that around much more. He's lucky I didn't take his hand off. Uh, you're lucky you didn't get this all killed. She's just going to connect it to, like, a string on her belt that connects to the gun. So the next person that tries to pull it off of her just Pulls gets shot. Trigger. Was <laughs> it my fault? <laughs> Look, what you a... grabbed it, not me. What an ingenious contraption. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate yeah, thief sure. defense. I like, I, like, shake my head. Uh, Iwuka shakes their head and is like, I think after all this is done, I'm not going to leave my shot. That's fair. People, you people are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, but yeah, you go down the the streets here are like they are um, like the buildings are like of marble and um, 
marble and like there's marble but also sandstone and uh, a few other materials that are like rare in the rest of the city but it's like very well built up the streets are all extremely nice here um and of course all of the buildings are painted because can you imagine plain marble no right? not here plain marble <laughs> unacceptable yeah, they're all painted, and they're all painted in... What is um, this, the slums? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're all painted in, like, pearlescent colors that shine in the light. So it's, uh, it, there is def there are definitely a couple of buildings when you look at them, like, midday, you can't really look at them because they're just so bright. Um, rich people, why do they do this? I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, there are a few, uh, basically the Opal District is, uh, is like a, it is like if you looked at it from above is like a circle and it has um like four large forms that that uh eventually connect to the center um that's up on a hill where the hill, the hall is the guild of council are. um and you pass through one of these forums it seems like people are kind of going about their day normally there are less people here than usually there usually are vice you you've been you've been here enough before to, to know that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um but it's like you can still hear the the sounds of commerce going on, which is lots of which, as everybody knows, is the sounds of lots of people shouting at each other. Mm -hmm. um, you pass through. There are a couple. There are a lot of people who give you weird looks because they're like, "What are the? What is this rabble doing here?" But they see that they're being escorted by a scion, so they're like, "Well, it, it, this must be the thing." You know, it's fine. Um, you don't get stopped, is what I'll say. So, Iluka, where's the cart going? <laughs> um, the cart is going to... Uh, so, the building that you said that the, the focal point of this demon summoning was occurring, I'm going to a... Like, off to the side of it, like, in an okay. alleyway, I would imagine. Like, not so much an alleyway, but more like uh, a courtyard, I guess. Sure. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, I'll, I'll tell him to make sure you do this upwind. Yes, it would be tragic if the wind... Actually, hold on. I, I want to <laughs> check the wind to make sure it's going to work the way that I need it to. Well, no, we burn we'll the city by saving the... Or we save the city by burning the city. Yeah, I mean, that that, that seems that seems right. <laughs> I mean, I'm just worried about the smoke going the wrong way, not so much the, the place going up in flames. Yeah, it'd be it'd be really awkward if it, because there's no arson rule. That's not a skill. <laughs> unless unless it is a skill, then uh, then then ignore me. It obviously is real. It's not a skill um, unless it is. <laughs> it's a standard. It's a standard survival check. Standard survival. Because obviously things can shift. The wind can shift. So this is a like trying to figure out like what's the best place to do it based on where you're gonna be. In like 20 minutes or whatever. I think I did. Yes, never mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. So you like you you do the you do the typical like you know put like wet your finger put it up to the wind to see what direction it's going. Um, and it is going a direction. I'm not going to specify one. It's the right. It's the you know where to put it based on the wind direction. <laughs> Cool. I've, I've I've finished my very shitty I look on a coal cart. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna I wanna see this. Hold on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's amazing. The donkeys are great. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized. I don't that... think it's shitty. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, They're it's really wonderful. Great. I just realized based on this because the the cart is definitely made of wood. You're, it's just going to burn the entire the, thing. The cart's going to catch on fire, too. Yeah. The cart was I mean, always part of the equation. Yeah. The donkeys yeah. freak out and start running, and there's this flaming carts just going everywhere. Mm -hmm. That sounds right. That that sounds like Seems a legit. fantastic way to spread chaos. Mm -hmm. Well, you earn your chaos points. Yay, chaos points. <laughs> chaos points. Um, chaos right yeah, so... Uh, you, you find, like, a courtyard. Um, hmm. This is actually a really good question, because you said an alleyway and then a courtyard. So this is a place with a bunch of rich people, and, like, this place, liter the Opal District has literal gated communities in it. 
mm. um, because there are like manor houses and st like manor houses. They're urban, like urban, uh, urban hotels, that type of thing, um, that are gated. Where? Do, what do you? What is your ideal location <laughs> for this? So, the situation is there's uh, like a skylight that I want to prevent from getting a clear view of the sun i want to i want to create a big cloud of dark smoke that goes over the top of the building and okay. blocks out the the skylight okay all right um so my ideal location would be i don't know somewhere as high as i can get a cart <laughs> fair good good uh good good thing to say there um Let's roll a one more roll here, because I think it's it's important to find a good location. It's not Scroot. It's uh awareness. Awareness, yeah, awareness. Can we just call Scroot it again? Scroot so that we can say Scroot again? Because Scroot is an awesome word. It's the best word. Um, uh, it is going <laughs> uh, to be I don't know awareness. minus minus ten. Minus challenging. Challenging. Thank you. I don't remember the words. I'm terrible about it. It's, Fate has the same thing where it has like the numbers and. I like, got it anyway. Nice. Well done. Look at you rolling hot today. Woo. Um, yeah. So you find there is a oh uh there is a warehouse. Um, there is a warehouse that is on a second level. So there is a ramp up. Um, and you just like because you're being escorted ah, by a scion. We're on like, an island. It's on stilts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Keep all um, the products from. Uh, yeah. And and of course the warehouse workers aren't gonna aren't gonna be like hey you're not supposed to supposed to be here because you have a cop with you, um, so you push like the the donkeys take the cart of <laughs> coal up uh, and into this warehouse and there is exactly what you said there's like a there is a part of the the roof that is open because uh, this warehouse is storing um, this warehouse is storing pickled goods. Uh, so it lets the salt out, so it's not just, like, all briny in here. Um, I don't know if that's how pickled things are stored, but whatever. Uh, I needed, <laughs> that was the first thing I thought of. Um, you might burn this building down if if you don't ignite it in the right way, slash set things up, but, you know, that's fine. Um, then you got smoked pickles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's very salty flame, is what you'll have. <laughs> God, that hurt the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would. So, you have oh, your shit. cart here. You got your cart here. Everybody's here. Um, who's it? Uh, I, I look up. Who's carrying you, and why is it the rickshaw? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think the rickshaw um, actually showed up because they're a normal customer of mine. Mm -hmm. They showed up before we left with the with the coal, and yeah. we. And I kind of explained the situation, and then uh, Vice was like, yeah, the, this is what we've been doing. So, uh, yeah, the rickshaw is actually carrying me, like, on one of their shoulders. <laughs> nice. I Excellent. It. I love it. Um, okay. We do actually need to do... I actually do need to figure out what to use as an arson roll. I said there was no arson roll, and I was like, wait, I should actually have one to see if you burn down the building. <laughs> uh... Um, I mean, there wasn't an arson roll before. <laughs> Skullduggery, uh, maybe. Maybe Skull it might be. Skullduggery makes maybe. sense to me. Yeah, let me let me go to let me see if there are any arson focuses foci in this game. I can interrogate um, it. <laughs> uh, it's a heal test. Alchemy, <laughs> maybe if you're like use um, chemical stuff. Nah. It, Burning down buildings is a very different action from from making alchemical ingredients or using alchemical ingredients. Um, yeah, let's do skullduggery. Fuck it, that seems like the the best thing for whatever reason. I don't know, cause I don't know what's it's better. Skullduggery, the best. The best. Uh, what difficulty? Um, so this is an attempt to not burn down the building. Um. <laughs> Uh, difficult. Difficult. Mostly because it's coal in a wood cart in a wood building. Or in a partly wooden building. So, building what difficulty is difficult? Uh, challenging. Excuse me. Challenging. Okay. 
I difficult is is me remembering 40k. Um, not bad. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Nope. I'm not. You... I'm not re-rolling it. We're burning this bitch down. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, you're you're not enough. gonna re you're not gonna realize this because none of you are going to be here when when it actually burns down. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, people will know. My that job you did on the before. line. <laughs> um, yeah, people will definitely know that y'all did this as well. So that's that's an that's another consequence of this. Uh, but yeah, so um, who ignites the cart? I guess it has to be Iluka as the person who yeah, did the roll. I, okay. Yeah, make it Iluka so that I can throw, make sure that they're the one accountable for it. <laughs> they they come, come looking for me because we burned this building down. Okay, so yeah, you, the crazy you, um, you time, like, light... Um, you light... I make sure I tell Kreta that I made sure that I lit it perfectly so that the place wouldn't burn down. Mm. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Um, you light like a you light like a length of rope, a small length of rope, and attack and like, a, like you're you're basically doing like the the classic like old old timey bomb thing where it has like a piece of rope that does it and then it goes to that because of course coal it has to be like light it has to be um, hot enough and like coal doesn't like instantly burn it like smolders a bit and then goes mm -hmm. um, so it'll be extremely smoky. But well, I think I think I'm not. Just burning coal. I'm burning coal on top of a pile of wet seaweed. Oh, for sure. Yeah, they, like there's a whole bunch of stuff contained in this. Um, there's like seaweed and hay. Like it's because the seaweed isn't that flammable, but like hay and stuff would definitely be. Um, so yeah, you you set it and you and the rickshaw walks you out uh, because I was like, and then you walk out. I was like, no, the rickshaw does because you can't walk out yourself. <laughs> um, and yeah, so there are the seven of you. Uh, in the Opal Districts, below the, uh, below the halls, um, waiting for that thing to catch fire, which it will, eventually, and you'll have the thing. Um, it's just you're gonna burn down the building, too. Uh, I mean, so. whatever. Yeah, exactly. It's not your problem, yet. <laughs> um, it will burn the wrong way. So, uh, Vice and Iluka, uh, since you mentioned it, uh, both of you, please roll an awareness check for me. Oh, awareness! Uh, just standard. I stalled okay, it. My uh, thing popped up behind it. Oh, <laughs> as it does. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ooh, okay. You wow! Oh wow! Look at look at that. Um, so you both notice. Um. As you start approaching the halls of the Guild Council, uh, you notice, like, because the because the hall itself is uh, above, it's like on a hill. You start walking up there and you look over to one of the other forums, and you see, uh, because you saw it during the parade uh, when it came in here, the big uh, pal like palanquin thing that the that the Azatlan emissary was on. Nice. Uh, uh, you see that, and you see, like, a group of, like, like lar two large groups of Azatlan warriors who are just, they're, they're kind of just milling around. You're not quite sure what they're doing. They're, this is also at a distance. But you can see them down there. They're definitely in the Opal Districts. Looking for their um, tribute. Yeah, it, <laughs> maybe. Who knows? They're, they're somewhere else. You don't have to worry about them. <laughs> yeah. Vice will remember this. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just thought I should put that in there because y'all were asking about them. So, yeah, uh, you so, make your way. So, go ahead. Vice is trying to get. It. Can I roll something? Can I scrut to try to get an idea of like where they might be based on the black one being here? Uh, like where they would be? Um, it ain't a scrut roll. It's a. It's probably a. Where they would be? It's probably a survival. I'm scrut anyway, so it's it's gonna be survival. Uh, it's gonna be it's going to be challenging because you don't know anything about these lizard people <laughs> do you want assist yes please can I mm. can you yeah. I have an idea hey, but it's help. a terrible idea so those are the best ideas so with Shay's help I think we got it actually uh no you didn't uh because oh. she, she, she also rolled a four yeah, uh, yeah you just I... replace it and your skill's not good enough Bomb all um, bomb. Also, that should have been a minus twenty, but or did I do it wrong? I did it wrong. My bad. 
Yeah, hard is the one I'm looking for. I don't know how to do words today. Um, I don't expect you to. It's fine. <laughs> Storm. Yeah, so you're you're just not really sure because you just don't know enough about these Azatlan, and also like you've been to the you've been to the Opal District a lot, but not the halls. Like okay. you ain't been to the Guild of Council very much. Uh, just fair warning: thunderstorms have kicked on, so if we disconnect, then the whole stream goes down. But uh, ah. we we were good last time we streamed. It was just Monday okay. that was a problem. Right. So we go up the hill. Uh, you get to the halls. The hall itself is, um, the hall itself is a, like, think, like, the Acropolis, uh, in Athens. Think, like, a little bit that, but, like, take away the Greek columns and replace them, uh, replace it with, like, a, like, it has a big dome on top, um, it has, like, um, like, it has lots of smaller, thinner columns instead of, like, the larger, like, uh, like, Doric ones or whatever. I used to know Luted. Greek columns. Um, and there are... Yeah, Corinthian, thank you. The, all of those. Um, and it is also a, like, the, the Acropolis is, like, was very much, like, a temple. This place is much larger, um, and it goes higher up. Um, I use the Acropolis as a reference because of, like, its position, not because of the actual building. Um... But yeah, there's like large, large shaped dome at the top that is, uh, that is all gold, that is all brass leafed, um, and then like painted marble for the rest of this building. And you go, you go in, there are guards there. Uh, the guards here are, there are a few scions, but most of the guards here are city militia. Um, they've got, they wear the colors of the city and they're not going to stop you, uh, because they <laughs> They don't have any reason to, like, one for one thing you have a sign within the other thing. Like, they don't have any orders to stop you. Um, yeah, you make your way into the halls, and I need all of you to roll me a resolve test. Resolve. 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 Standard resolve test for everybody. We should be fine. Hey, I have points in this. Hey. All right, that's Resolve. that's good. No, nope, that's bad. <laughs> that should be fine. Ah, Where is resolve? Under uh, willpower. 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 Oh wow! There it is. Doing good with me. That ah, there it is. Oh good. Nope. Uh, so nope. so Cassandra and Hikeka, uh, you both take three corruption. Hell yeah. Finally. Um, everybody, everybody feels this, but like it's especially cute for Hikeka and um, and Cassandra. There is some, there is something wrong going on in here. Like you walk in on the marble floors and just like it's they, it just cloys of the air. The air is wrong. There's like it's like stuffy. It smells sharp. Um, go ahead. I think I think that like Hikika like pukes up seawater just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I also puke up seawater. <laughs> yeah, for for Hikika and Cassandra, like it is, it's obviously because of um a, a variety of things to do with your characters. Uh, it feels a little bit different on why this feels so wrong for you, Hikika. Of course, you are a you are a cultist of the Leviathan and now a drowned one. You mm -hmm. know, you know like. Abyssal prints things when it's happening. Magic when it's happening. It uh, bad. It bad, yeah. Uh, Cassandra, it just feels like... Like... It this feels ain't normal. Like, yeah, this ain't normal. Like, it's it's like being cross-faded uh, combined with smelling like like burning magnesium. Mm. Um, so it's fun. Lot. Yeah, a lot of fun. Um... But yeah, you, you're you're in like you're in the building. I'm not gonna be like ah, you gotta figure your way around because that's not interesting. We're uh, here to do a finale. Yeah, I'm gonna pause when I see them when I see them kind of vomit and just like uh, uh, reach out and put a hand on them and say, "Are you all right?" It's all right. Just hold me hair back. <laughs> Ain't the <clears throat> first time. I hold I hold back both their hairs. Uh, well, I mean, I can't get <laughs> uh, hair. No, I was going right. to say, I can't get hold back her hair. Sorry. Yeah. For, I, I, have oh, enough, I, I have enough hair for both of us. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, yeah. Fine. No. She, she, hold, like, she holds back on Kika's forehead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
You oh, just God. you just palm it like a basketball. It's fine. Both the rickshaw, like both the rickshaw and um, Ivy failed as well. Take the vomit too. Yeah. Well, the rickshaw is like doubled over. Iluka does not drop you, even though you are on on their shoulder. But like you go tumbling over for a, for a hot second while they're just doubled over. But did they land um, in the puke? No, because <laughs> because the rickshaw has good muscle control. Um. Ivy doesn't start puking or anything. Ivy just, like, gets, like... They they look a little sick, for sure. Um, but they, like, unsling their 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 musket and just, like, load it. <laughs> and just, like... There's so much... And they, they're in Kiriako to you guys. Just, like, there is so much wrong in here right now. I feel it. <sighs> I feel they already began. Probably. And if I'm if if I'm any guess, they're probably above us, based on what your and they motion over to to Iluko, Your friends' calculations were. We better move fast then. Yeah. And I say that um, in uh, in Sudafi. <clears throat> so, the the actual halls are empty. Like you don't see anybody in here. Um, but you find you eventually you find a staircase like a staircase that goes up the that goes up the like uh, to the to the top of like to the to the dome to like the inside of the dome. Um, this place is like it's richly adorned with tapestries and uh, tapestries and murals and a lot of mosaics. Most of the walls are covered in mosaics of one sort or another. Some of them are uh, recollections of the city's history. Like, there's definitely a mosaic of the city's founding. Um, there's some that are like uh, that are uh, depictions of the gods. Uh, so there's like one that you pass that's obviously like the Leviathan in all her glory. So it's like this, like this woman, the, this uh, this drowned, like very obviously drowned one, like super long black hair. A lot of it goes in front of her face, and like she's got like large octopus tentacles behind her um and you you go up the stairs and you uh you kick in a door uh because i don't think y'all are being stealthy you, you got you got a door you got doors to kick place in. is incredibly stealthy i don't know what to do. <laughs> i'm not kicking in shit because i can't move my legs the, you're not doing it who's going in first then because someone's kicking in this door but who's going in first i'll take uh, probably your credit Okay. Um, Who wants it? Yeah. Uh, Credit. Why don't we do it at the well, same time? Same time. <laughs> All right. Same right. time. Actually, it's double Three, doors. Two. That's right. Yeah. Three, two, one. Smash. Bam. Bam. Uh, yeah. You kick the door open. Um. And inside, you see there is um. The top of the dome is actually like like the top of the dome has like a hole in it and so there is light streaming in on this ritual circle uh there are um there are uh it around the circle there are nine cultists so there are nine people dressed in like uh dressed in bright robes uh with their with their heads covered by hoods uh and the opposite side of you you see there's um one person that looks uh that is even more decked out than the rest. Like they're wearing not only are they wearing bright robes, but like their robes like go out from their body a bit, and it's just like you can see underneath their robes they have like more and more layers of silks. So there's like yellow and pink and purple, like lots of lots of pastels. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're also wearing slippers. Is something you notice about them? Uh, but there are also like out there are also other like individuals who are wearing robes or. Uh, are richly, richly dressed and are chanting around this, around this thing. Uh, but also, hey everybody, I need you to do another resolve check. Yeah. Uh, this one. time, this time it's, uh, it's, d uh, challenging. The minus 10 one. There we go. Um, challenging. And I'm gonna roll for the rickshaw and for, so this is the rickshaw and ivy. Oh gosh. Oh, ivy is not okay. <laughs> No one is okay. No is Lucas, okay. I look at. Oh God! Had a also, I'm for rolling as under Calliope for some reason. Stupid That's C weird. name people. Uh, I it's, it's still me. Not, fine. Yeah, it's still Cassandra's um, roles, not Calliope's. Okay. But 
It was uh, just a name tag. Vice and I, Luca, you you both will take two corruption. Oh. Uh, everybody else who failed takes six. Um, ah. So much corruption. <clears throat> Once you get the, to ten, it resets, right? Yes. Well, well, I'm at nine corruption. Everything's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. Um. All right, and then also a question because y'all are obviously hearing what's happening here. Uh, this is not going on Sedefi. This is not going on Kiryakov. This is not going on Nathari, for sure. For those languages, you know. Anybody know any like weird Osetaic languages here? Let's see. Yeah, just Sailor Creole. Uh, the others okay. are standard languages. That's not weird I know or as a Kiryakov and Sailor, Sailor Creole. How do you mean? Calculate languages. Mitharis uh, and uh, Zabastani. So I have actually two more. So because you, you said wanna... like you can fill it out it like later oh, if you wanted. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um, so if you want to know what they're ch chanting about, <laughs> probably if... being probably being um, probably being uh, like a uh, a reeve and a ranger. I probably studied, or not studied, but I probably picked up a little bit of, of weird languages and in, in, in the previous cult stuff that I, that I, that I was investigating before, maybe? Uh, yeah, this language that they're chanting in, um, for a real-life analog, it's analogous to, like, Phoenician. Like, it is an old language. It'd be like if this was a European setting, this would be, like, Latin. Um... Hmm. Like, we're not even Latin. This would be, like, ancient Greek, actually, because it's, you know, more esoteric for, for people at that time. Um, so if you want to know... God, what would I call it? Uh, I just put chanting thing in my languages. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, call it Old Sedefi is what we can call it, because okay. I think that makes sense. It probably has, like, a proper name, but, like, that's what you you, you all would know it as. So anybody who speaks Old Sedefi... Uh, um, so I... A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. You can't write not. in it, that's for sure. No, absolutely um, not. Uh, and that's probably, um, that's, that's probably, Credo, that's probably what freaks you out, is you understand what they're saying. Like, you understand bits and pieces of what you're saying. And Vice, it doesn't freak you out because you understand bits and pieces of what they're saying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um... And part of the chant is, of course, the things that you've read before, the light pervades, mm -hmm. um, that, that whole spiel. Uh, because, you know, why wouldn't they be chanting this? The light pervades, our eye must, must be open, is a lot of part of the chants. Um, and the person who's, like, wearing, like, all of those, like, the, like, many silks with the slippers is seems to be the person who's leading this. Um, so, of course, Vice runs in, immediately says, uh, close your eyes and put on some sunglasses, and throws his bollock dagger at the silky person. <laughs> okay, sure. That'd be yeah. an improvised weapon. It would point. be, but first we're gonna do initiative. Um, uh, initiative. Initiative. Let me clear the initiative. Remove all turns. Yes. Perfect. All right. Roll y'all's initiative. Um. Oh, I gotta do something for for slippers. Um. Slippers. That's his name. <laughs> they have an actual name, and you actually actually know what their name is, but. Um, it's I slippers now. Name. Uh, we know what their name is, we just don't know we know what their name, name is. The name exactly. is Fumbles now. Ooh! It's Ooh. a D10, right? Yes. It's a D10, D10 plus, plus your shields. shields. Yeah. Uh, well, there you oh. have it. I should also uh, let you know, Saint, that yeah, I up? have an ability, uh, now that I've gone into War Dancer, uh, once, I, once I roll my initiative, it's going to become pertinent. Um, the War Dancer has an ability called the Dance of War, the Dance, the Dance of Death. Uh, oh. For every successful strike, parry, or dodge you make during combat, increase your place on the initiative ladder by one. So. Oh. As I, oh. as I, uh, yeah, as combat progresses, I will likely be just going all the way up the combat ladder. Excellent. Okay, cool. I needed to. Agree. I don't. I don't know what that does for like shunting myself from like one turn to another like if it moves up or something but it's fine we'll figure I it don't out know either. <laughs> like ah you were dead last now you're first 
Look, if you ain't first, you're last. Exactly. It's, it's true. Uh, true. And then it is. Right. They go at ten. I'm, I'm gonna come at this guy like a spider monkey. Speaking of. Okay. Where? Oh, never Excellent. mind. I found it. D10 plus the number. Vice is all hopped up on Mountain Dew. Oh, right. Mountain Dew. And Luca. Eight. Ah, uh, oh, someday I'll roll well for initiative, but today is not that day. It's fine. Before this is over, I'll be on. I'll be number one. Maybe we'll see. I Fred, I mean uh, we'll see. I just gotta uh, hit or not be hit or parry. It's fine. Draw. The looking glass. Do we not get a surprise action? Because like we were pretty surprising. I. They you kicked down the door. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we kicked yeah, in the door yeah. and I immediately threw a dagger at somebody. Well, you you we'll kicked get... in the door and blasted the John Cena theme. I <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Um, I, I will look at how um, how it works in a second. I just need to put everybody's initiative. Okay. Um, because usually we've had, like, it actually, like, surprise rounds have not actually been... A thing that's happened too much. Interesting. 16. Vice, you're so fast. Wow. Um, My lightning reflexes. Sandra's 11. Looking glass. 10. And then I need to roll for the cultists. We don't have written down because it's fine. Alright, 12. Cool. Enter was the button I wanted. There we go. Alright. Descending. Okay, so. I'm gonna look at that, the surprise things. Because surprise, I believe, just gives you surprise turn, gain advantage over one another, take a turn before the initiative ladder begins. Ah, it's my remit to determine if they have a surprise or not. Okay. Uh, you get a free turn, actions made, add an extra fury die. Oh. Okay, cool. Uh, and people are surprised are left defenseless. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know what, Vice? Just for you. Just for you. You get a surprise turn. Um, and you're gonna go first, so you're gonna get another turn after it. Nice. Very helpful. Yeah, so throw your dagger. Throw it. I, I dare um, you. So, okay, so now that I know how surprise works, uh, I'm actually rethinking this. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I actually have a, uh, a thing called uh, Run Amok, now that I am a Bazaka. Oh yeah, um, you're, which you're, gives me you're. a twenty base uh, chance to strike with melee attacks uh, during charge and uh, perilous stunts. Okay. Um, am I able to get to this person with my charge? charge? Yeah. Uh, how's your movement? Um, where do I see that again? Uh, it should be probably on the page with initiative and stuff. It's partly based on your agility. Talents and traffic. Uh, six. Six. Okay. Um. Hmm. Twelve yards. Uh. This is a. I gotta make a judgment call on how big this room is. And how big this stupid circle is. Um. You heard me. It's a stupid circle. <laughs> uh, Damn it. Dumb. Stupid circle. Dumb big circle. Not in one move, is what I'll say. I think it makes sense if, like, if this so is, So isn't like, a charge, though, like, a, an attack with a full outrun? No. Uh, what it does, what charge does is it allows you to run, it, it, you go your movement times two, and if you attack after it, you add damage. Um, it doesn't include an attack with it. Uh, it, yeah, it's a, it's a thing. Um, this room is 20... It's a it's it's got a twenty four yard diameter. There we go. Circles, learn with circles. So, if you run all the way to him, or th them. All right, no, it is him. If you all run all the way to him, like use the actual run action, you will get to him. It's just not with charge, because of how yardage works. You don't all right, I think I'll that. stick with the uh, the throwing the dagger then. Okay, cool. You can it, you 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 need to move up, but then you can. You could also actually technically probably charge and throw the dagger. You want to do that? Give yourself yeah, more damage. that'll work. Okay. Um, so I, I can do that charge. in one turn or two? You do that in one turn. Okay. Charge so and throw your dagger. Charge um, and throw the dagger. So how many action points does charge take? Two. Okay, good. 
Yeah, so this will be all of your actions. Uh, all right. But it's also a surprise round, so, like, you know. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so you will be adding, if you hit, should you hit, uh, you will be adding two Fury Die to your damage. Um, and also, this is an improvised weapon, so keep that in mind. You'll be ro rolling simple range, not simple melee. Because that's important. That's an important thing. Um, improvised. Humbling slow and three. Pretty sure I got it. Uh, you, you definitely did. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, the difficulty shouldn't be that, but sure. Um... Uh, no, it, I get a plus 20 because I'm charging. Run amok, thank you. Yes, okay, good. Um, cool. Uh, so you hit, so roll, it'll be, uh, based on your, uh, this is a dagger. So keep in mind that it's a vicious weapon, so I inflict an injury. Um, this is, a, you're, you're not you stabbing somebody with it, you're throwing it, and this is not a weapon that's meant to be thrown. I suppose. <laughs> Um, yeah, roll, so it's gonna be your combat bonus plus 3d6 for damage, because 3d6 exclamation point, because you have a shit ton of fury dice for this. Alright, so, slash roll, 3d6 plus 6. 21, bitch! Oh, uh, What's roll, re-roll yeah, the that you just got, by oh, the way. Yeah. Uh, so... Slash roll 2d6. Because we need this, folks. 30 damage. 30 damage. What's up? <laughs> Summon your demon now, fool. Um, you, you, just, actually, you just ended the summoning right <laughs> Uh, You might have, actually. Uh, you, you actually did. You literally just killed them. Um, hey. <laughs> because their, their, their highest damage threshold is 29. There you go! Nice. <laughs> plus one! <laughs> I plus one did. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's amazing. Well done. Well done. Why, thank you. Thank you. Um, I gotta look at something for... Now uh, I should probably take my turn, right? So I think it says... I'm glad that you took care of all the legwork because I can't <laughs> move my legs. Boo! Get out! You're, you're struck. You're struck by lightning. That's a dad <laughs> joke if I've ever heard one, and that's coming from a dad. Um, yeah, no, they're just dead. Sick. Um, yeah. So describe describe this for me. You you kill the Looking Glass, who is that person that was being mentioned. Um, so Bryce comes in now. Keep in mind, this dagger is like bigger than a regular dagger. Right. Um, yeah. So, so Vice, like, takes it out of its sheath, like, in the air and throws it up and grabs it by the tip and just, like, wings it at this person. And I, I feel like I nail them in the throat, and they're just, like, bleeding everywhere. Yeah, um, and you knock them back, like, they had their hands up and they were chanting. And you knock them back and you knock their hood off. Um, and you see the person, the looking glass. They're, um, they're, uh, he is, like, he's an older man or was, because he's dead now. <laughs> um, he, like, has these goat horns on his head, um, and he has, like, this, like, tufted hair that is all smoldering for some reason. Um, he's got these, like, bright yellow eyes. Uh, and he, um, and he, like, his mouth is, is agape because, you know, you just hit him right there and he was chanting. He has, all of his teeth have been replaced. They're all, like, these, they're all, like, steel teeth. Um, but yeah, you you just you weigh him right there. You just and then like he falls to the ground. So, um, so what are the rest and, of y'all doing? He says, <laughs> <laughs> "Surprise!" Um, um, yeah, and it is it is uh it's your turn. He's dead, but it's still your turn. I'm saying good good plan. Okay, um, so now because I am a terrible player, I totally forgot to write down that cool sword that I got from um. The heck was her name when we killed her? Oh, uh, oh me. Uh, uh, yeah. It was that late because I know that was like a really cool thing. It was a oh gosh, um, I I just I used to ha uh, it was a. It happened at the end of the thing, and I was tired, and I was just like, oh, I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, it was <laughs> like a it was like a saber equivalent or something. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. I think it like added to defense or something, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but... it was a defensive weapon. Um, it was a defensive sword. Let me, let me look. 
I, I had it written down, but I deleted it because I, I was using the same. I was using all hot things. This is all. This is definitely my fault. So if you don't want to give it to me, that's fine. I, no, I it's, hey, you having it is fine. It's just you're you're not gonna be like amazing with it. Uh, uh, actually, it, it, I have I have um, martial melee now. So. Oh okay. Uh, it, it, I think it was literally just a saber. I think it was literally a saber. Um, it's a sa a saber is a defensive. It has it is a it is a martial melee weapon with quality defensive. Okay. Um, um, yeah, no, she, she like, she just was a really, like, skilled wielder of it. <laughs> okay. Um She had a lot of other cool stuff with it. But yeah, it's your turn, again. <laughs> uh, you're right. in the middle of the summoning circle. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh... Hmm. Is there anybody else here that I recognize? Or do they all have like masks on or something? They all have hoods on, but you can still roll. I think that's a that's a thing you can do. You can still roll. Uh, roll a roll in awareness. Uh, it's gonna be challenging. Challenging okay. awareness makes sense. And and other people, you can also do that. See if you recognize people here. But yeah, it's they're all, all of our, all of our it's all of our friends yeah. that we've made along the way. Hey, I know these people. Okay, yeah, sure. Um. I don't have I know I know people. Yeah, you know people as well. It really wasn't a demon summoning after all. It was just Haikika's birthday party. We're like, uh, oh shit, my uh, bad. I didn't mean to kill. It was the bar mitzvah. It's fine. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, they're all corpses to me. Um. Yeah, Iluka, you can roll as well. You're you're around. Uh, I mean, I'm like. High on laudanum being carried by a wrestler. <laughs> That's kind of living my best life right I now. I look as high on her. <laughs> All right. Um, yep. So, so... A critical success. I love it. <laughs> You're high, but because of that, Amazing. you see everything. Yeah. You're seeing um, things for sure. So, Vice, Hikika, and Iluka, uh, the people you see here, each of you see one person, because um, I think it makes sense uh, for people to be here. Um... Hi, Keika, you see the higher Kanusha is here. Um. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's it's fine. Um. Yeah, they're getting, um. They hate they're getting me. blasted. They're yeah, kicked good. out. They, they yeah. hate me. I pissed them off. Yeah, look, it's. You don't know that, that she's here. Just, only, You're only, right, only I know. Does. I just see corpses. Um. Vice in future you corpses. see. Hmm, who else would, who would you see here for this? Uh. Hmm. I have a lot of people. I have. A, this is called. There's a lot of a lot of people here. So that's why I'm like. <laughs> it better not be my biggest fan, or I'm gonna be mad. It's your mom, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, Maximin's not here. Okay. Um, good. You see. Um, oh, this is a, this is a, a, a fun call. Uh, you see, you remember that, that, uh, guy who was pretending to be the prince? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, you see him here. Oh, God, that's funny. Prince in rags. He's in the, he's in the background <laughs> chanting. Um, and he's, yeah, he, 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 but he noticed what you did and he, he's looking to get the fuck out of here. Um, <laughs> Iluka. Hi. Iluka. You see the person you wanted to see here, and you knew you would see here. Uh, I see you, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or as as he as they are now, <laughs> Carlos Takashi. The artist formerly known as Noria. <laughs> yeah, the artist formerly known as Noria, now Carlo Takach. Um, and he sees your group out of like the corner of his eye, and he like of course this is the critical success, so you see all these details of like he has a wicked smile on and he like goes under his robes. Like, he stops chanting, goes under his robes to pull out a weapon of some sort. Because he's going to help you all out. To murder people. Yeah, he's, he's, he's here to help. He's a good guy. Murder priest. Yeah, murder priest. Um, yeah, exactly. I need to roll for him now, actually. Because um, originally he just wasn't going to interfere, but he's going to do this. Oh, that's a D100. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> D10. Oh, I actually, I actually have stats for face dancers. Uh -oh. I can use those. <laughs> hey, boss battle after all. <laughs> I mean, you're not fighting him. He's helping you. Yes, um, he, he's uh, Iluka's buddy. 
Yeah, yeah. he's like, like an old man. Exactly. Oh, he's a plus seven. Oh, okay. Uh, 16. Oh, gosh. Damn. 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 Quick. They're fast. Um, Carlo. Uh, so he has. Okay, cool. Uh, Vice, it's your turn. You recognize okay. some people. Um, so I don't care about the little dinky guy. I will get him later then, uh, now that I recognize him. <laughs> um, I'm not that worried about it because he was very uh, unintimidating when, when first we met. Um, mm -hmm. I am going to put myself in a more defensive position because there's a lot of people here. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to run back towards, back from the middle of the circle towards the door and hit the person closest to the door. And what I'm going to do, I don't know if you guys know Ibuki from Street Fighter, um, but I am going to like slide and take out this person's legs and try for a takedown. Okay, yeah, sure. For sure, okay. Uh, yeah, takedown time. To to take down. So roll for takedown, uh, a coordination test, unless you're charging. Oh, you charging? Uh, I, I was charging, yes. Okay, but. then it's an athletics test. Okay. Uh, which you would probably do better on because we yes. already we already have the roll, uh, and they have to resist with coordination. So I'm just gonna roll the 100 for them. Uh, ooh, they got hey, a crit. Wait a second, 29 and 29. <laughs> they got it, but they got a crit success. They just flip on over you. Yeah. Up. yeah. Well, damn. Yeah, they're they're very good at staying staying uh, up. So I could knock them over, so I get to punch them now. Yes, you do. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm punch. gonna kick them in the nerds. Okay. Right in the nerds. I'm a kicker in the nerds. <laughs> Get right in the taco. Whoever it is, I haven't specified. <laughs> These are a bunch of cultists. Uh, yeah, you hit. Uh, roll, roll your unarmed damage. Uh, you did charge, so you actually get an extra uh, fury die on this. Nice. So. Um, which is convenient. Why is your modifier here 37? <laughs> what? Never mind. I see. It, it's sometimes it does the modifier. It it puts in the modifier what your die roll was for some reason. And I don't know. That's why. weird. Yeah. Okay. Um. Which is probably it's your combat bonus plus two d six exploding. Because I think you have a thing that makes it so your fists are not yes. like pummeling weapons. Yeah. Correct. Twelve. Okay. Yeah. So you um you you pretty you injure the you wound this person. Roll a d6. Uh, because they're moderately wounded now. You don't Tricks. injure them though. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you you you, bam, right right where you want it, and they double over. Uh, and that's your turn, Carlo. Uh, is gonna take out his knife and he's gonna run over to one of the cultists and one of the cultists is in the circle so, and stab him right in the back. Yeah, what's up? I still have one action left, right? Just to be clear. You, you use all three. Charges too, remember? And <sighs> you have to okay. use one for take right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. He he's gonna go. He's he gonna stab. Oh no! Wait. So so the attack was because the takedown to work. Yes, exactly. It was a because it, it's a free it's a free one, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's all three action points because your takedown your takedown takes an action point, and the charge was two, so that's three action. Ah, points. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, he good. misses unfortunately because he's actually not that good with his knife, <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna spend the last one to save it. Uh, Kreta. These are all um, corpses to you. Make them so. Yes, I. Um, so I imagine like Vice like bursts in like in that like same breath and moment like I'm drawing I'm drawing two guns, and an old Sidney, I say, demon worshippers beware! I am death, and I'm gonna shoot yeah. two of them. Nice. All right. Um, I would Do like, it. I would like one of the shots to be Prince of Thieves running away. <laughs> I, I, sure. I, yeah, sure. Uh, because um, I don't I don't feel like hunting them down. All right, I yeah. Want to do a quick cleanup. Shoot him. Yeah. Shoot Rizgar. That's his name. Prince of uh, oh, first Prince thing, Rags. Yeah, first thing I wanted to, wanted to do was Litany of Hate. Okay, uh, yeah. That's uh, why so, I did that thing. So roll your uh, roll intimidation. Intimidation. 
connected. I have bonus things to this. Yeah, because you're not injured. I think you get plus 20 on it is how that works. I think. Let me check. It, it Yeah, this is the... The actions have their own special things to them. Um... And I think it's I think it's plus twenty for the yeah. Oh shit! I it is. Roll that. It is indeed. It is an easy easy test. Oh, you still failed though. I'm gonna reroll hmm. that. Okay, you that this fortune. Is, this is a this is a big thing, motherfucker. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um. Okay. Yeah, well. No. I well, mean, actually, wait. Don't you don't you flip to succeed all intimidate tests? You're right. I do. Uh. So the yeah. first one is sixty seven. Yeah, so that's actually, the first one's actually a success. Um, okay, so a number, what's your fellowship bonus? Fellowship bonus, four. It's gonna, four, okay, so four cultists are gonna suffer minus one damage and peril threshold. Cool. Um, and that's the one time you can use it in this combat. Yes. Okay, now, now for gun. Oh, they also suffer mental peril. Oh, roll the mental peril. I have, Maybe you can knock them out I have or something. all sorts <laughs> of, well, all sorts of bonuses to intimidate. Um, yeah. Funny thing, the Looking Glass couldn't, couldn't be intimidated, but he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> he has the ultimate intimidation. Uh, I was going to say eight. All right, eight? Eight? Okay. Yeah, so uh, some of them are the ones that hear you and are not busy chanting are are quite intimidated by you. They're shaken. Um, including Not including, uh, including Prince of Rags, who's trying to run away from you. Cool. I shoot him. Okay. Roll, roll the shoot. Roll the, roll the hit. He can't dodge because it's a gunpowder weapon, so. Well, that's a hit. That yeah. sure is a hit. Uh, 11 damage. Um, he's not dead, uh, but he is, he is quite wounded. Roll a d6 for, um, for if he gets injured or not. He does not get injured. Okay. okay. But he takes a shot to the side. Um, and he, he can't run yet because there are a lot of people before he goes. Yeah. <laughs> well, there, there are two people before he goes, but, uh, but yeah, you have one more action point. Uh, the second shot's going to another cultist to solve Random him. Cultist. Oh, you know what? Probably the one that, uh, that, uh, that was hit earlier. Uh, the one that I hit. Okay. Yeah, you, cause you hit one. Yeah. Probably the that one. The one next to the door, yeah. Soften them up. Okay. Yeah. Shoot. Shoot. Bang. Nope. Ah, uh, no. Not not that one. All right. Nope. Pistols away. Axe out. Okay. Uh, and that's your turn. Time to start I... questions. I, Luca. Hi. It's your turn. Oh, I you know. and the rickshaw. Oh, wait. I need to roll for fucking... I forgot I need to roll for Ivy. Because the, the rickshaw will go at the same time as you, so you can sort of direct the rickshaw. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah, that. Minion. Your legs now. <laughs> the rickshaw okay, no longer fights. The like Game of Thrones all over again, you know. The rickshaw is just basically Hodor now. <laughs> Maybe it's gonna go before the cultists, but after you two. The rickshaw goes negatory. The rickshaw no longer fights for other people's amusements. <laughs> Shaw is no longer conflicted. <laughs> so I know Earl. Uh, well, while uh, Outro is figuring out what I Luca is doing, I know earlier you told that said the dimensions of the room, but I was busy looking up how to cast spells, <laughs> and, and totally forgot because it's yeah, twenty four yards in diameter. It's big. A circle. It's a big room because it's a dome. It's like the inside of a dome. Ugh, now I need math. Uh, because what, are you, my, what math are you trying to do? The dimensions. Oh God, where did it go? I just had it. Oh shoot. Um, it's sixteen yards. Uh, is a cone. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you could get a. Do we know how? Like, what the angle of the cone is? Yeah, it's a. a Where's my protractor? <laughs> Hold on just a second. Let me go to the page again. If it's like 90 degrees, okay. it, it can get a lot. Uh, I'm not just saying they just everybody. It's fine. 
A cone will extend straight in a 16-yard line from where you stand, one yard wide at its starting point and five yards wide at its end point. You can aim magic and weapons so that it will only affect your foes. However, you, you will need to succeed an awareness test to not harm your allies. Okay. Uh, if you're behind people, you can get a lot of the people in this room is what I will say. Uh, because we're playing this a bit fast and loose because I did not make a map for this or anything. Um, also because the cultists weren't going to be an actual, weren't, we're going to, there were ads for this boss fight, if that makes sense. Vice is very glad they got out of the way now. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, we'll, I, yeah. I would like to, like, theorize what I would do. Like, I okay. don't want to do anything that it seems too outrageous, but if, uh, the Prince of Rags is running away, mm -hmm. I want to, like, slice them as they run away okay. with my sure. perk. Um, okay. I also have knife work now that I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Barber surgeon knife work, excellent. Um, yeah. When you deal damage to a foe using a melee weapon with the fast quality, they must resist with the toughness test or begin to burn. Ooh, oh, that's, that's really, really good. good. Yeah, so if you mm -hmm. want to spend an action point to have the rickshaw go, like, get into melee range with, uh, uh, with the Prince of Rags, and then you want to stab him, you totally can. I'm cool with spending the action point, but like, I don't know, in my mind's eye, it was just like, I was chilling with the rickshaw, and they're running by, and I kind of just like cut Oh, you can, you can just opportunity attack him when he runs by, sure. Just wait. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, yeah, if you want to just wait, use action points or opportunity stuff reactions those are the words i'll do that because i'll save my action points in case i need to get like lodging to people or something like that okay hi keika okay hey, remind me how spell. spell channeling works oh gosh um mm -hmm. you can heighten you can make your base chance to do the spell higher but you take corruption and you have to roll Chaos dice, or you know, your god. If and if you roll a six in the chaos die, your god, gets your, your god gets mad at you. Okay, um, I'm 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 down for this. Okay, so let's let's go uh, two steps, which will give me uh, two more corruption, which definitely gives me a chaos rank and resets me back to one corruption. Uh, I will also say, um, channeling requires action uh, action points based on the amount of channeling. Okay, then I can only channel one. In which case, I'm at zero corruption to have a chaos rank, because uh, it's a, it costs two action points to cast a, a lesser spell. Yes. Uh, yeah. And uh, you can ra raise this by ten. You suffer corruption, and you'll have to roll a chaos die on this. Let's go. Uh, so, uh, Hikeka, um mm -hmm. steps forward and uh, directing with their staff and one hand on their necklace where in addition to the very obvious abalone shells there are also small pieces of coral and as she uh like pinches one it like dissolves into smoke and uh a burst of uh uh seawater rolls out uh but also my chaos dice came up a six which is bad news oh that's not good okay so uh yeah does your that, god does that fail my does my spell no. still go off the, the spell still goes off but you can't cast magic after this that's totally fine i mean <laughs> i i need to i need to put out there uh, like the salt water more important than dealing damage to these petty thugs needs to like wash away their chalk outlines and put Ooh. out any candles oh. and stuff yeah, because um, uh, because um, the chaos die actually comes after the results of the spell. Uh, cool. So yeah, but you will be you're you're gonna be divinely punished with a minor punishment because it's a first time offense basically. Um, there. How does he I'm have... doing this. Oh, I think give you a ticket. It's fine. <laughs> Leviathan's just like, how? Why have you done this? Why have you done this? Look, um, it's I'm so many with demons. The... Come on. Yeah, I know. No, look, I understand. With well, Leviathan. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so two d10 plus willpower bonus damage. Yes. Uh, and uh, this is all those who are caught. Okay. Um, yeah. So so roll that damage. Uh, you also might want to roll that awareness check to not hit your friends. Um, uh, yeah. Let me hit that first. 
uh, because otherwise people are going to get hit. I just got back. Does the six on the chaos die do anything? Yeah, yes. Uh, she she's now being punished by her god. Oh, her, uh, by I would like god. to. Oh. I would like to reroll that. Okay, it's not like y'all have used any fortune anyway. <laughs> you haven't needed it. Exactly. Hey, uh, baby. Baby. all right. That's perfect. we will take it. <laughs> um, okay. Not a crit, but but you know exactly. Yeah, right. So yeah, you don't hit your friends, but you do thir- Wow. Uh, okay, you're gonna be rolling a fuck ton of injuries. Uh, <laughs> awesome. uh, roll, you know what, because we're gonna, we're gonna have it turn into Shadowrun for a second. Um, <laughs> roll, how many people would you hit with this? A lot. Uh, and they get pretty injured. Roll 24d6 for me. Sure. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I said it was turned into Shadowrun. <gasps> wow! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six injuries. You want to roll six D100s and see what kind of injuries we get just for fun? Uh, because, you know, y'all are, yeah. y'all are yeah, killing let's it. Go. Let's y'all are do killing it. it. I, will, I will take the anger of my god because obviously I needed... I, she's probably pissed that I used one of the pieces of coral from my necklace instead of having a different piece of coral specifically for this Makes uh, sense, purpose, yeah. you know? I like that. Oh gosh! One person gets the the like wave. So so describe this wave, Mori, and then I'll describe some of these injuries because some of them are just. Whew. So so the wave, uh, like, comes. Uh, it it it's like there's uh this little bit of smoke as the coral like apparates, and then uh, they direct it with their staff, and the smoke follows the cor- like the arc of their staff, and as it crosses over the tip of the staff, it turns into water filled with little jagged pieces of coral, and just like splashes out, and then just keeps getting bigger as mm. it goes, and just washes across uh, in this huge wave motion across the floor, and it's very obviously magic, because uh, it, like I said, the, the water just keeps getting larger a- until it reaches the, the edges and just kind of dissip- dissipates back into smoke. Yeah, it's basically one of the, like a water bomb with shrapnel. <laughs> one of, yes. Exactly. One of the one of the cultists like gets hit right in the like right in the neck. Mm. Um, fractures their larynx. Um, so there's well, they're like, not doing any more fra- chanting. Air. No, they're not. It's, it's <laughs> what you needed. Um, another one does not get that injured, but then. Uh, like they all get hurt, but some of them don't get injured. Um, one of one of them uh, just gets knocked back and smashes their head, and there's a crack as they have a skull fracture. Oh, jeez, that's mm-hmm. bad. Uh, yeah, there's uh, another one also gets knocked back, gets knocked in the ground, not a skull fracture, and they like get start, start getting back up and start being like, Ugh. they got a mm-hmm. minor concussion. Um, and then. Uh, un- there's another another one who um, like the it takes their legs out from under them and like they like catch themselves but it like the bone breaks they got a stretch fracture in their arm mm. and one last one um, just like gets smashed into a wall but a bunch of other ones like still get get like hurt they just don't have those specific injuries. oh yeah and of course and, and of course as always uh, she. They they shout, Leviathan take you. <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah. Ivy uh, had already had their rifle, their musket unslung, but now they're going to shoot people. Now yeah. now they're, they're here to they're here to shoot people. So they're going to take aim and shoot one of the cultists, uh, and they're going to miss because I am incredible at rolling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they're going to start reloading. Uh, the cultists. Are just a mass. Um, many of them, some of the most. Uh, uh, actually, I'm gonna roll like a resolve thing for them. See how many like if they they roll fifty. Okay. Um, a lot of them are staying here or trying to complete the ritual, but some of them, like the Prince of Rags, is, are trying to get out. Uh, so, like, how much of the ritual stuff was disrupted from right. the salt water? A lot. Because so water was a very much. smart thing to throw, because they were all about light and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. any candles or anything here, any lanterns, anything like that, are was all washed away. Yep. Um, but they're still trying to continue their work because they're desperate cultists. Um, 
But there's like some cultists who are trying to run out here. So hey, outro, you want to stab a Prince of Rags? Yes, I want to. I want to. I want to <laughs> slice them. Leap okay. off the rickshaw's Let's shoulders. Slice. Slice them. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Oh, do you so. Hey, I hit. You did. Good job. Eight you damage. did. Eight damage. Okay. Um. um they have to. Uh, they have to. Well, Oh right, they have to they have to do a toughness test to restart the lead. Uh they they succeed. That's a thirty. They actually succeeded. But also uh roll three D six, because they might get they might get injured. <laughs> actually, um oh they won't take grievous injury, but they'll they could get still get seriously injured. That's fine. Nope. No nope. injuries. Okay. They're still alive, barely. <laughs> Uh, they they run on they run past you. They're you could you could chase them down if you want. Um, and some other cultists are here. Do you want to slice the rest of the cultists, or is the Prince of Rags the only one that you're? No, I'll slice I'll slice all of them. <laughs> one okay. Uh, roll two more. I'm not times. discriminating on my yeah. On my <laughs> um, you can also, you can also do this because I think you're in the door. I missed that time. I you did. Have... Yeah. And I hit that time. Sure. Nice. Uh, how many attacks am I making? Uh. Three. One. 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 Okay. Um, yeah, the Prince of Rag. You behead the Prince of Rags. Oh, no. He earned it. Two. All right. Nice. Three. Oh, oh no. That's not good. That that's is not very good. bad. I am definitely rerolling that. And then you okay. behead Eluka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be awful. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Reroll. There we go. That's much better. Okay. I, I don't. I don't want to kill Iluka. Who is no, no chop head? They're, yeah, they're, so you, they're not you an just arsonist go, or anything. You just, Iluka, Iluka, and Credit. You just start chop, chop, chopping, uh, chopping around. Um, you know what, Cassandra? The last two, because you're still here. You just I haven't am. busted in. You want to stab some cultists? I do. Your turn? I want to stab right. some cultists. How many do I get to stab? Two. Because the Prince of De Rags is dead. All right. Here we go. Gotta gotta help contribute here. Uh, it's talents and trappings. There's my sword. Uh, one. Oh wait, hold on. I think yep, I left it on challenging. We can take that off. Oh, ah, yeah. Time to fix it. All right. One. Yeah, Ooh, nice. that's a hit. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and two. There it is. Congratulations, you killed both of them. Yeah. Because uh, of the damage your friends had done. Uh, oh, that's corruption uh, for me. Hooray. <laughs> Yeah, I probably should have um, gone last. You killed steal. stealing. <laughs> the, the, I, we talked I, about this, guys. We were supposed yeah. to do the opposite of this. <laughs> uh, um, I think it's what is it one or three? Whenever I kill some uh, a kinsman. Oh, I got it. Yeah, it's three corruption. It's I three. Okay, so that takes me over. Uh, yeah. So, good, good, so congratulations, you killed two yeah. and one chaos rank. Finally, a chaos rank. Finally. Yeah, I believe it's. I believe it is. I, I think, think it was three. War dervish. Actually, I can just go to the end of skills and go backwards. Um, white wolf. Hello. Hello. There it is. Hello. It is. It is in fact three corruption. That's what I thought. All right, I marked it. Oh, uh, I, I ticked on my chaos rank, and now I'm uh, into two for the second go. Are these really people at this point, though? <laughs> yes. They are right. indeed people. Fine. Being, being a cultist doesn't make you not a people. Hi. Yeah. Hi. 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 Um, uh, do you guys want to come to my birthday? Yes. Yeah. And then uh, I have one birthday, and I'm going to have another one. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's my birthday okay. tomorrow. All right. Well, you tell yeah. them say say get those cultists. Get those cultists. Yeah. 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 Happy birthday. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Tiny adorable child. Uh, so Cassandra, it's yeah. your turn. Uh, you ah. just murdered two people when you said you didn't want to murder people. <laughs> I mean, she didn't say that. I said I. Yes. <laughs> you, took you took War Dervish. You took an oath. Yeah. Oh boy, here I go killing again. And <laughs> just uh, who's left? Who's left? Because we've. Uh, there so are cultists inside. Mm. Um. 
I feel like she's like, no, it was an oops. It's not my fault. I just I put the sword out and they ran into. Uh, I, I I feel really <laughs> bad about it, and I go in and I. There are a lot of injured cultists inside. <laughs> you feel really bad about it. That's what the chaos ranks are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, I move in. I move in for the next one then. Uh, okay. Yeah. I will uh, move in, take aim, and then attack because that should be three. Okay. Uh, and then I have my lightning reflex to keep one for parry. So that puts it at a plus 10, and of course, if it hits, it will disarm. If they're holding these, any these weapons. All this aren't really armed yet. <laughs> I chop off their hands so they're disarmed. Okay. There we go. Perfect. That's what you need to do. They have no arms. Oh, uh, move me up the initiative track as well, because I hit. Oh, yeah. Uh, I will uh, re I will reroll since we have uh, fortune points. You say that okay. until a lesser demon comes through. You know, it's fine. I'm sure that. Wow. You gotta be kidding. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Bad me. damage, too. Uh, too bad. That's, uh, that's a, No, like that's. A shame. It's fine. That, that I can't. I can't right. argue with that. That, oh, no. that was um, me earlier, too. So, so uh, I will say before we go again two, two things. One, uh, because y'all killed the boss that was here so quickly, I have now taken a lot of inspiration from uh, the slaughter of the suitors from the Odyssey uh, and just, you know. Y'all can just slay them because it's pretty easy. Uh, the history we just, of demon we, summonings being crashed has one been crashed so successfully? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so we, we um, just we just do the Odyssey thing where we just take turns having a bonding experience, just comedically slaughtering these people. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Precisely. Uh, the other thing y'all notice because uh, one, a lot of the lights in the room have gone dark, but the light that was coming in through like the dome. Uh, starts being like starts darkening. Nice, it's obvious good. that the, the ignition happened. Um, Vice, there's Jeez. a lot of very. You just saw like a wave of water come out from nowhere and just take out all of like the candles, the lanterns, and like a bunch of cultists who are like on the ground. Some of them are like spitting out seawater and. Uh, yeah, what do you do? Also, your friends have been effectively killing cultists who have been trying to run out the door, including Whee! the person rags, uh, who you didn't notice until now. <laughs> um. Well, actually, no, you noticed him first, so. Yes, I did. Yeah. So it's starting to get very dark in here, so I think Vice is going to start making his way out the door and back to, um, or their way back to the inside of the thing where it's bright again. Right. Fair. Okay, um, yeah. And there there aren't any, like, active combatants in here, right? No. There aren't. The so, initiative right now is basically for the, perp was for the purpose of the first round. I mean, uh, I feel like I, I feel like Vice is under the impression that, like, they killed the leader. Um, Haikika was able to, like, excoriate whatever they had on the ground to, to use for the summoning. Mm -hmm. And um, I Luca's plan to like burn the place down and and cover the light is starting to work. So like, yep, it's pretty much shut down at this point in, in their mind. So they want to get back to like safety in the light. Mm -hmm. So um, that that's what they do. I I feel like they'll take two move actions, um, okay. and like stop and be able to defend one just in case. Yeah, for sure. Uh, okay. So. Uh, Carlo is going to continue just murder cult other cultists because you're just like, yeah, this is acceptable. It seemed fun at the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He doesn't he doesn't care too much um, because he's not he's he's not a humanoid. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so he's going to work like he's going to town on on one of them. Um, Creta. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to move in and start finishing off the ones that uh, uh, Cassandra has been working on. Okay. Um, so I will I will charge, and I also have run amok, so plus twenty. Nice, so good. So Nally was a lot quicker than I expected. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I mean, I don't think anybody expected that that thirty. That that no. was like out of nowhere. No. That was Ooh. with an improvised. Oh, yeah. Way. But like I said, that's when we accidentally summon a blood chaos demon because yes. just 
blood. I mean, I remember, I remember uh, Saint saying that uh, it could end up that you know something much smaller comes through. You know, instead y'all, have disrupt- of- y'all have disrupted this so much that there's no way that it could. Yeah, yeah like we uh, cut off the light, we blew up the symbol, and we killed the the head cultist. Like we yeah. did our I job like too was- well, gang. There was there there was there are only a few people who could cast spells in here, and the main person who could is dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, you you um, roll. I don't know. Roll some in, roll some dice for injuries because why not? It's not know. actually that important, but three d six. Because this person was already partly injured from the the blast, the the water blast. Five hundred and fifty five. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so you, you run in and, and like, right in their shoulder, um, but they're, they're almost dead. They're, they're probably going to die soon, uh, cause they're, you know, they're cultists. They, they weren't trained for combat. Uh, Cassan- Cassandra, you're hey. much higher in the initiative now. I'm going so fast! Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna move on to the next one. Alright. Yeah, same, same concept. Move, aim poke. Hopefully not oh. this horribly. <sighs> <laughs> you said it! I had to well, say it. Yeah, you, I, you shouldn't have said anything. I, we got fortune, and we already, like, you know, negated the boss, so I'll, I'll do another one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to use this misfortune during the dial, during the epilogue. There you go. Fine. There you go. Okay. Right. Yeah, um... Roll 2d6. See if you injure people. Alright. And crank me up that initiative order. <laughs> One uh, more. 14. Uh, you said 2d6? Yes. You get sixes. That's... Hey! That, there you go. Roll a d100. Alright, here's where it's gonna fail. I mean... 11. It, it, there's no real failure here right now. Let's be real. You already did the thing. That's fair. You did the thing. It's that's, fine. That's fair. Um... Land. I feel like we planned this out really well, and then Vice just got super lucky. <laughs> like, yeah, oh no, 100, you, you like, totally did. In, okay. MVP, though, Vice just destroyed yeah, the head guy. Yeah, contingencies for our contingencies, and then Vice just throws a knife and it's over. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, you, 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 like, pommel strike this person right in the chest and break a couple of their ribs. Mm. Nice. Um, yeah, uh, and they're doubled over in pain. Um, y'all, like, after this round, I can say pretty definitively that, like, you'll be able to clear the room, no problem, so. Iluka, uh, uh you, you, you shank some people, or excuse me, sliced some people. Nice. What would you like to do? Would you like to leave? Would you like to keep slicing? Um, yeah, I mean, um, I, I actually tell, the room. like, the, the... Rickshaw? Yeah, the rickshaw. Um, it looks like things are quite under control here. I'm feeling a little little sore. Let's get out of here. You got it. And they, they turn and they walk out with you. And we see the building on fire. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, Keika. Um. You feel your connection with the Leviathan being severed. I think that's bad and mm-hmm. kind of kind of traumatic and i see iluka leaving and i think probably it's time for me to leave as well like wow. i i i think uh i think Hi- Hikega, like like was standing there like eyes glowing for a second after having released the seawater and now that that's subsided they blink a couple of times and the the light fades from their eyes and like at the same time, like, they feel, like, the Holy Spirit of the Leviathan drain out of them. And there's, like, a moment of panic, and they're like, I, I need to get seaweed! And, like, book it out. They're, they're about to be seaweeded. Exactly. I need the seaweed. Come back, Senpai. I forgot what page the, like, um... There, so each god has their own like certain effect like when you get punished by them and I forgot where it is but I think it would be good for you to know what yours is uh, that's talisman no oh. I wouldn't take a boat anywhere anytime soon <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah definitely not 
Uh, it's Ivy. Ivy's reload is currently reloading. They that's what they're spending their turn to do. Um. Which means it is the cultist turn. This is their last turn before I'm just like, eh, whatever. It's they're they're pretty much dead, um, which they are. It's true, they are pretty much just dead. Where the hell is it? Eh, whatever. It's it's not that important, I guess. I'll see if I can find it. Yeah, if you could find it, that would be that would be. Oh no, I found it. Okay, I actually found it. It was it was in the GM section. Um, for the Leviathan. Uh, until you attain atonement for your transgression, you must flip the re uh, results to fail all skill tests related to water, such as use of athletics for swimming and pilot for sailing. So it doesn't matter. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> Don't it, throw any water balloons at anybody. Look, it might matter in the epilogue. Who knows? Um, <laughs> yeah, so the cultists, uh, seeing all the cultists seeing that they're, you know, they're basically screwed. Um, some of them start surrendering. Uh, others try are gonna try to make their way out out of the room, but at this point, it's up to y'all who are still here. What you want to do with the remaining cults? Is there like uh, fifteen of them? Demon worshippers? Not in my city. Mm -hmm. Well, the building's on fire, right? No, no not this building. This building. Not the building next building. door Damn. is on yeah. fire. I was gonna say if it was this building, we just seal it up. No, building down the down yeah, yeah. down the hill is on fire right now. Yeah. All right, so we burned this building down. <laughs> <laughs> that will get you all executed yeah, <laughs> for sure probably. i mean we're just purging the heresy uh that's this isn't that setting <laughs> yeah that's fair all right all right uh round them up round them up all right. the ones that surrender i round will round up uh any that have tried to flee they are just dead okay yeah ivy will help you with that uh as being your duty as as the mercenaries of the city and self-proclaimed law. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the rest of them, I think there's like five of them who end up who are smart enough to surrender rather than run away. Um, including the Hierarch, I think. Which is a bad decision on her part, but, you know, she doesn't know that. Mm -hmm. Oh, is she, is, she, is, she, is she still alive? Yeah, she's still alive. Not She's she's hanging on. Is she uh, one of the ones that, that got injured? Uh, on the side right now. Uh, it was. I'm try. I'm trying to do math in my head. There's a. There's a. There's a 25% chance that she was. She indeed was one of the ones who was injured. Fantastic. She was the one with the the, the larynx, the fractured larynx. So she has a nice. lot of. Perfect. Now. Um. Yeah. It's very appropriate. I like it. Hmm? Poetic justice. It's a it's a good thing to do. Uh, I can take away this turn of everything. So, yeah, what do you do with the remaining ones who are surrendering? Um, I will be contacting my uh, my. I'll I'll send contacts out to um, like the judge and and. Uh, you're my gonna need to. Company. The big problem right now is that you're in the middle of the Opal District while the city's on fire, and you have just murdered a bunch of random people that nobody knows about, technically. <laughs> Secret murder! <laughs> so we round up the evidence of a cult yeah. demon summoning, and then we yeah. escort these people out because... We okay. Are arresting cool. them for yeah. the reason we came in for crimes against the crimes against the city. Yeah, yep. sure. Um, Wait, yeah. Speaking of wrestling arrest. Yeah, I just want to make it clear that I, that like contacting people outside the district is very difficult right now. No, that's fine. Uh, well, the judge is in the district, right? No, no? she okay. she she's not in the district right now because she right. went to the Ruby district. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So oh, like, it's fine. I said that I was taking responsibility for. My group. You did. So you did. We Facts. are we are uh, extricating. That's the word. We're extricating these uh, people out of here, and I'm vouching for them to be able to take these people out for the good of the city. Uh, so yeah, you like you march the five of them, and like everybody else exits the building. Um, I and you got the the hood over the hierarchs, so and no one can see her, and she can't talk anyway because of her larynx. So it's fine. Yeah, exactly. Um, Ivy shoulders her mu uh, shoulders their musket, and the rickshaw carries you, Iluka, down. Uh, you see the smoke from that from the cart and the building. 
uh, catching on fire. Um, and you That's come out of the building. More smoke than I had expected from such a small car. What the fuck did that happen? Uh, I think the building's on fire. Akika, quick, use your water magic to put it out. She's gone. Oh, they're, they, <laughs> they, they have... Just, Cassandra they, they turns to look. Cassandra yeah, turns right. to look and is like, Akika, use your... Where did Akika go? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to I... throw... Uh, nah, you're fucking with me. At the <laughs> that doesn't yeah. the setting at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The rickshaw is just like, are you kidding me? Um, but yeah, you come out of the, the halls and, like, the militia turn and are just like, they're like, the fuck is happening? And those scions, like, stop the militia, because the scions recognize you, Cassandra, just like, one of them comes up to you. It's like, uh, so, what is this? Who are these people? Uh, Why are they I, here? I explain everything that's going on, and then, uh, just to cover our bases, I add that these cultists also set fire to the building. I have <laughs> dial, I will lie. <laughs> the first thing they the first thing that's asked after that is what building? <laughs> I point over to the building on fire. <laughs> yeah, they're just like, what building? And then one of the other signs just like, look over there, and they look just like and Cultist wait. did it. <laughs> How? Yes. That does <laughs> not explain it. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not really sure, but we uh, caught them afterwards. I think they were using it as a, a literal smokescreen for their nefarious plots inside of the building we did act on. I think one of the militia I members... I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> I think one of the militia members just sh just shouts, It was foul demon magic, obviously! And the other one's like, yeah, they shot a fireball over there. Yeah, <laughs> like... exactly. Everybody's superstitious. It, ha it, it makes perfect sense when you don't think about it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I am so not going to scrutinize this. I believe these people. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lie yeah. my ass off and just blame the roll, cultists roll a, because... Roll a, roll a guile. Roll All a guile right. for me. Uh... uh uh, you get it's this isn't a a routine uh guile test this, oh thank goodness all right so here we go yes yeah, there you go okay <laughs> yeah so the this the lead scion is just like <sighs> okay what look fire is not our department anyway you know what i mean mm -hmm. you, you got me and call the fire department <laughs> There yeah. is no fire department. <laughs> fire, brigade, fire brigade should be uh, notified immediately, or at least the cult of the Leviathan might be able to get some seawater we'll, up here soon. Somebody will deal with it. Not my problem. And look, not your problem either. No, it's you, not. <laughs> you march those people to the goddamn stockades or whatever. Of course. Uh, they, act, they would know. They'd be like, march them to the prison, yep. throw them in there. And they will be for good. For good measure, Cassandra is gonna backhand one of the cultists and is like, "You're gonna hang for your arson, you cultist swine." <laughs> <laughs> cultist, like, wait, we didn't burn down that. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I, I smack him as soon as he starts to say something. <laughs> yeah, so you, they, there is a prison. There is a like, there's a jail because prisons and jails are separate things. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a jail here that you can take them to, uh, because you know the signs are there. They can ask act as law enforcement. They got this thing. Also. You have a robust, like, court system here. Of course there's a jail. Um, so yeah, you, you bring them down to the jail, uh, throw them in, lock lock the key, lock it. Don't throw the key away because the jailer needs that. Um, and yeah, you, the the seven of you are, have saved the city from demon summoning. Yay. Now you just gotta worry about the impending war and revolution. I mean, yeah. sure. I still, I still, I mean, debt for my shack. <laughs> yep. I need to go and make reparations to my goddess. Mm hmm. It's very yeah. important. It uh, seems like life just goes on for the crew of that's the, a, iron. the Iron Loop. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's exactly the thing. Like, life the, finds a way. let's do, let's do an epilogue. Um, mm -hmm. Or actually, let's do corruption stuff first, then let's do an epilogue. Okay. Um, so, hey everybody, uh, anybody who got 10 or more corruption, good job, you got a chaos rank, and you can roll again. Um, yeah. My corruption is zero, because I'm exactly 10. Okay, so you just get a chaos Corruption rank. for the boss. Kreta, congratulations, you have a chaos rank. My second one of this game, chaos rank. <laughs> I did not I get rolled chaos. over my corruption. Oh. Okay. So the whole game, Vice only got one chaos rank. Good job. You were 
you were peep you were true to yourselves. I only got three and I was expecting to get a ton. You I didn't was... actually you didn't you didn't swindle as many people as you could have, I think. So between <laughs> between the two oh, characters I, I, I gained a total of four chaos ranks. There you go. Nice. Uh, so yeah, let's do it. Let's do epilogues. Uh, we'll go around. Um, we'll start with um, for anybody who plays who's played Fiasco. We're gonna do it a little bit like that, where it's like here's me doing this thing and like describing a small scene. Um, hmm. So we'll start with Vice and we'll go around. Uh, so Vice, where are you? The next time we see you, where are you at? What are you doing? Uh, so I feel like Vice is now working with Bahar again, um, because even though they were part of the uh, this conspiracy, they weren't the big part. Uh -huh. um, and I feel like because Vice has something on Bahar, uh, Vice is going to basically watch Bahar and keep him on the straight and narrow, as it were. Mm hmm um, and kind of help him use his resources for the good of the city. Cool. Excellent. I like it. And, um, uh, probably fight in this pending war and try to keep the city independent. Probably. Yeah, that's probably, like, do we see you, like, like signing up with the militia, or, like, do we oh, see Oh, for you... sure, yeah. Signing, okay. signing back up with the militia, because they were in the militia before. Yeah, for um, sure. But they probably have a lot of contact with Bahar and probably Kreta and um, Cassandra as well, because they're all right. fighters. Nice. Uh, Ikeka, where, yeah. do, where do we see you next? When all this is said and done, where do we see you next? Um, I think we see them in the Temple of the Leviathan, and it's probably like... Um, like a montage of them doing a bunch of different things to um uh atone atone yeah like there's there's them like going out and wrapping seaweed up on the bowels of multiple <laughs> ships there's them in the in the temple like like scrubbing all of the floors of the temple um community service yeah, I mean, but there, but then there's there's also like them um, like restringing their uh, their necklace with another piece of coral, you know, um, and maybe we even see like a scene of them like uh, diving down to to get the piece of coral, mm. uh, and and struggling through that because. Uh, they can't swim as well as normal, but it's fine because they can breathe underwater. So, you know. Exactly. Uh, also, I misinterpreted this. Only if you have, if you're getting, uh, if you take a major punishment from your god, do you lose your magic. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Well, so you still have your magic. I just didn't. It was dramatically more more interesting for it. it so we'll take it. It maybe maybe it was temporarily blocked by whatever I think, evil forces. I think forces. Temporar yeah, temporarily blocked makes sense. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Cool. So yeah, you're doing yeah. all that. You you do all like all the atonement, and that's mm -hmm. where we're seeing you. Cassandra, when all this is said and done, where do we see you next? Um, Cassandra is likely at a bar. Um, she wasn't super tied into this, and largely just got roped into the end game. So <laughs> she, you know, went back to what she was doing beforehand, which is you know, uh, schmoozing. Uh, seducing wives and husbands and probably getting into, you know, duels and stuff. Doing her scion duty every so often as well. Yeah. Um, There's probably we can, oh, I can... one scene where she and Kreta are dueling. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Trying very yeah. hard not to get cut in half. Yeah. Um, I guess we can also ask, where's Calliope? Uh, Calliope, said, uh, probably. Uh, I guess the question to you is: Does the prince ever come back? No, no. Then she, no. she probably like. Uh, she would have to also get you know, uh, redemption with the custodian, um, but she mm. probably resigns from being more adventurous and just settles into a life at the temple, um, being sad and heartbroken that she couldn't schmooze her way into more money and uh just you know generally keeping track of the other rabble uh making right. sure everybody else is okay and probably making sure iluka's legs work again 
Right. It's probably helpful, especially because yeah. you've been suffering from sleep deprivation because yeah. of the custodian. Yeah. Um, Kreta, when all of this is said and done, where do we see you next? Um, I think there's probably, uh, probably a scene where, uh, where she's, um, uh, like, probably standing before, like, some icon of the Winter King, um, and waiting for, uh, Maximin, and when he returns, um, she'll, uh, offer, uh, her Sparthax, which probably has an engraving of Vice's and signature that she probably uh, asked him to get from the charcoal district, and says, "I got these for you," and I show yeah, him he, the signature. And he, cool. he takes the axe. It's like, this is a very fine gift. I appreciate it. I would not be here if. You have not pulled me from the, the sand pits, so... <laughs> true, true. You have left our service, but perhaps you are should be take up the mantle once more. You seem to be very much in that... in that space. I don't... I would... I, I don't think I could put my weapons down yet. <laughs> well... If you need a space in the Slayers, there is a bunk open for you. Then, then I think I will happily accept. He, he nods, just like, come, the storm waits for no one. May we both have wild names. It's a solemn nod, and he just like spins the axe in his hand. Puts it on his shoulder, and the two of you walk out. Um, there is one other thing. I was probably going to go visit Calliope um, and, okay. the, and tell her. Um, the prince is still alive, you know. I'm sure he is, but he left me, and I do not want to see him again. If he is hiding, then he might be a key to stopping uh, what's coming. I'm not saying you have to do anything, but I'm going to look for him. I didn't just fight to save the city just so I could be destroyed by other forces. Ah, <sighs> well, I guess if you put it that way, someone has to make sure you don't die. I am going to. There's probably like a like the urge to like suppress uh, a smile, but um, I think credit does lean out and just pull her into a hug. My arm, my arm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> and she'll hug back. Adorable. Yeah. I'm happy I missed you. And she just holds up the purse dog to give it credit a kiss. Dog kiss. I, I lean into it and let the dog kiss my cheek. But only for you. Don't tell anyone I did that. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. That's the most adorable secret. <laughs> yeah. Um, and last but not, but certainly not least, Iluka, when all this is said and done, where do we see you next? So I thought about like a ton of different possibilities for this, but I think what is going on is I'm in Miss Tarim's uh, office mm -hmm. in a wheelchair with Dr. Tanith. Oh, and okay. Dr. Tanith and I, Luca, are giving a presentation trying to get a uh, get a I guess like a, I don't know, like a, an apartment, but the apartment is for like, I don't know, office space. Cause we're yeah, going, an, an we're office going, space. We're going yeah, to open a pro-revolutionary like medical facility. Oh, you're opening like a clinic. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, you're, you're, yeah, with Dr. Tanith, for sure. Um, yeah, and you, like, you get to the end of this, this thing, and, uh, Miss Tarem, like, she takes her cane and, like, gets up. Um, and, and like, looks at you hard, like, hard stare at you. I look just like, well, you did get better things, didn't you? Nah. Well, considering you have yourself, you seem to be more credible, especially with your good Dr. Tanith here. I think we can make this happen. Revolution well, is going to uh, see us through. Yeah, that, that was the thing. Uh, if you didn't decide to lend us this property, we probably would have ended up with it anyway, because we would have squatted. <laughs> and Tarev just she just she just chuckles, just like mm, you're probably right, and I don't exactly have the time or the energy to go get some get some people to throw you out of it. You know me too well, Iluka. But I appreciate you came to me <laughs> first. This head, I've had my head busted a couple times from your people. I don't know you that well, I see. <laughs> this time, this time we're doing good work. We'll be bringing in the money necessary to pay, and we're doing doing what needs to be. Good, <laughs> good. That's exactly what I. That's exactly what I want to hear. So, well, get yourself set up. I'm sure there are people who need your help uh, more than I do currently. I mean, I'm a little bit late on that. She like pats her like veteran's leg. Um, so, go, go. I will. And I kind of throw a, the the wheels are here to stay. And I guess I've decided for Iluka, she is wheelchair bound for the rest of her days. Although the surgery was successful. I yeah, so you, you like, it was the fact that your legs are in pain that you couldn't move them, not because, like, they're missing. Um, yeah, I know, I know she legs. has legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was joking when I said I don't have legs. <laughs> I was going to say, you... I want to make that clear, though. That's what You I could do say. the, um... But I'm uh, electing, electing for story purposes. Yeah, no, that's that's cool. You could have yeah. you could have you could have just made it like your next con too, where you you still have the legs, but you use the wheelchair to 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 con people into giving you money. It's like that one. Um, I actually developed a very special type of wheelchair that I sell. I'm a I'm a wheelchair inventor. Mm. Uh, Excellent. So. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Am, yeah. No. I imagine. Like you have medicine that works really well, but you always try to upsell it more than it really is, and you're like, "Look, I'm wheelchair bound. Now look, I can stand." <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Probably. Terrible. But yeah, no, being wheelchair bound. That's a cool choice. I approve. Uh, it's an interesting. It's an interesting character choice. But yeah, See, so if we, if we went into any of the weird tech, we could have made it like a rocket wheelchair. Yeah, for sure. Like witchstone bullshit. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, but you have you open a practice, a pro revolutionary medical clinic with Dr. Janeth. Um and awesome. whether or not the revolution succeeds, what happens with the war is all things that'll be left unanswered. Because that's the end of the game. The last scene is everyone sits down and Kreta is not drinking her drink <laughs> at the place they usually visit. Yep. Of course. Excellent. Yeah, and that's the end of the that's the end of the show. Yay, we did it! Yay. So that was Yay. that was that was Swihander. Um, I wasn't was... expecting a straight up murder in the first attack on a surprise. <laughs> one. I wasn't either, but I you know, yeah, no one was. was. No one. I, I I look. It could have not had it not happened, and this entire session would have just been like combat and me figuring out magic and stuff. But this was more interesting. Uh, um, hey, say, yeah. After the credits roll, is there like a little like return scene of uh, the hierarch taking like a piece of chip stone and scratching a mark into the into the stone and then grinning? <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Why not? There you go. The, tease them. Yeah, there we go. T big tease. The funny thing with this, because it's Spyhander, and I think this is very appropriate, like, you stop the conspiracy and everything, but, like, like y'all said... Shit still sucks. <laughs> life, shit still sucks, life goes on, there's a war and a revolution happening, like, yeah, like, and, 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 no, like, 
there are some people that know that you did this, but most of the city doesn't know and doesn't care. Mm. Mm-hmm. I think that's a mm-hmm. really big thing is that, like, you're not vaunted as heroes of the city. It's just like, well, that's another thing that happened, I guess. That's just another day. Like, that's that's fine with Kreta, too. She's, she did, like, make sure that the, that the, um, the Slayers got supplies and resources that would put them in a powerful position after yeah. everything was done. I feel like Vice totally adds, like, Cult Destroyer to their titles, though. Yes. <laughs> like, as their, as their uh, you know, entrance and their, their legend builds. Gosh, I've, I, need a, I need a Vice entrance sequence at some point. Just, like, <laughs> the full titles for Vice. Cult and Destroyer. we all know that Haikika only cares about Leviathan, so... Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, so that was... But yeah, that was Bloody Pearls. I I had... The system was uh, a lot of work that I will admit I didn't... The sum of which I did not put in because, like, it's just a lot of GM prep um, and not a lot of tools. So it's a bunch of tools I'd have to have created. Um, But I had a lot of fun with the setting. So, I'm glad we created this setting together. We got to play time. this, like, weird, like, v- Venice-Byzantium Ar- Ar- Arabic mix. It was amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely really a lot of good. fun. Yeah. Thank you, Zane. Good world, job. The world was definitely fantastic. Good yeah. job, y'all, everyone. Yeah, uh, y'all, y'all made interesting characters to interact with as well. Like, you, you meshed, they meshed well with the setting. Like, they, they made interesting scenes and stuff and that's what's important um i really did have a ton of fun with the uh the character creation system in the game like yeah. I, I think the random thing is a ton of fun to just like roll up a character and just like play as something very random because yeah, I, you get to play something you wouldn't normally you know i, I thought I, I luca and Creta were not going to get along at all but <laughs> we did <laughs> Right. I mean, you never know. We didn't not get along, but we didn't get along. We kind of yeah. just existed in the same space. You kind of just happened. acknowledge. You acknowledge each other's existence and then didn't. <laughs> game <laughs> right. That's game. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I like the random character generation. I said this at the beginning. Like, I had a lot. I have a lot of fun randomly creating characters for this. Mm-hmm. It's the other parts of this game where I'm a lot more shaky on it. Like, a lot, lot shakier. There we go, that's the word. Like, anything to do with magic, or NPCs especially. Like, it's hard for me, like, as a GM to roll for NPCs outside of combat, because there's stuff like... It's weird to, like, be like, this NPC is trying to convince you of something, and being like, they're gonna roll Persuade, because that's weird, or Charm. Because that's not something that I do normally. And, like, even yeah, if you're doing, that's like... something that's been conditioned out of us with, like, a lot of the game. Uh, yeah a lot of the more i wouldn't say modern but a lot of the like blades in the dark and powered by the apocalypse like Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all lend themselves to like if the players aren't interacting with it you don't need to roll it or if there's no consequence there's no reason to roll for it exactly and that's that was a lot of me of like trying to break myself like yes you can have roles that don't really have consequences to them that's something you can just have random roles um and you'll like you also notice like most sessions we ended up with like a bunch of misfortunes die because i don't have any reason to use them because i didn't roll very much um except for those like very combat centric ones where i'm like well i actually have a reason to use them now yeah they're mainly for combat yeah we just didn't get a lot of that yeah because our game was an urban game around a conspiracy and like it just combat did, like much more detectives than than combatants most days. For sh- for sure, and a lot of the focus of Spyhander, like Spyhander, is very much a game about adventuring, because Warhammer Fantasy or uh, Warhammer Fantasy roleplay was as well, and so like there's a lot of rules that didn't apply for us, and there were things like we had time that was something that was that we had, but like also there was things like you can't heal unless like somebody actively heals you, and that costs money, um, mm-hmm. stuff like that. So. Uh, it's it is what it is. It's we were we were finding where the limits of the game are, and that's an important thing is to figure out where the like limits of the system are, and also that I would not if I ran another Spyhander game, I would not run an urban game. 
Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't work well in Psyhander if you run an urban game. I mean, I feel if, like if, if we I were to if we ever pick run, up, sorry, go. On. If I were to run Psyhander, I would probably like set it down with a preference the same way I would with like a Pathfinder game. Be like, we're going to be doing a lot of combat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a play mat. We're going to you're going to be measuring out. There's no theater of the mind for this. I mean, yeah. that's how I would do it, but... Oh, yeah, no, and that's, that's probably the... That is probably the better thing to do. I just, you know, part of it was I have never been a person that's super about battle mats for tabletop role-playing games, because I, like, I can do it. I used to play, like, Warhammer 40k tabletop, um, like, the war game, but, like, for me now, I'm just, like, I'm more interested in, like, character action stuff. But, yeah, Shay, you were saying? Um, I was gonna say, if, like, sometime in the in the future you ever pick this up again, it's gonna be more of a more of a war game than a than an urban setting. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like I would I I I did a I remember doing a stream where I was kind of messing around with things and being like, here's like a thing you could do and I started with Slyhander. And the town I created for that, because I did that after we started Bloody Pearls, the town I created for that was very much like going with the themes of the game being like here is a representation of autocracy here's a representation of oligarchy here's a representation of democracy here's a representation of um like monarchy that kind of stuff um and like having those forces and having like very present uh outside threats so like you know having um uh grendel and having like that kind of stuff where it's like there are very present outside threats, but also very present like inside threats of like this. There is the a corrupted priest. Um, so I think that'd be a big part of it. Would be having it that be a thing, and we can you can still do like other like less Western slash Central European settings, like doing more Eastern European or doing something like this. And if we didn't put it in Sedef and instead put it in like I don't know the Covenant or put it in the Empire, could work too. So, yeah, things that I things that we notice when we play this game. Um, <laughs> I do kind of wish the game talked more about like giving out corruption and stuff because it has like examples, but it's like it's a lot of time. Like I look at the examples, and I'm just like, it's hard for me to just call out like judgment call like, hey, here you get corruption and like how much corruption and stuff. Um. And stuff like that, where it's like... And, like, the game talks about, like, the uh, alignments. Our alignment stuff almost never came into play, because y'all are really good at playing your characters. But also because, like, it doesn't actually guide when you get corruption and stuff. It's kind of just there to give I feel your like the idea. one time that I remember my, my alignment actually giving me corruption uh, was when I was with Iluka, and we did the whole uh, thing with him paying off the landlord and i was mm, i was turning all the pictures stuff. yeah <laughs> yep, that was the I one time that. where where i got my um exclusion and i i got my chaos ranks from it yeah <laughs> and it's like I, I i i know it's there to give like because it's random characters to give an idea of what kind of personality your character has like that's the reason it exists but it's still a thing of like a kind of wish it had more mechanical, mechanical. weight yeah mm-hmm I feel that. I feel that for sure. Same thing with XP. Like, XP, I was like, it's really floaty, and I was like, I'll just give per session because I don't have a better system for this. Like, I was considering making a Blades-like system, but I was like, then I would have to figure out for each character, like, how to address challenges and stuff like that to drive the fiction. It would have like, made more sense to do something like that if we were going to run the show longer. Yeah, that too, for sure. Plus, by doing it per session, we can make sure everybody's got equal XP, which I think is a lot more important in a game like Spyhander than oh, in this. Yeah, it's so much more important in this game because of how the advancement works. Like, we got to intermediate professions, which is great. Yeah. But we did 14 sessions. Like, mm -hmm. and y'all got to intermediate professions, what, two sessions ago? Like, yeah. It is a slow prog progression with 100 reward points per. I'm glad I finally got to use one of my uh, Drowned One spells, though. That was really I, cool. I'm very happy you did, too. Cause I, yeah, that magic, was definitely awesome. That was a pretty killer spell. It was. Like, yeah. Magic stuff's really cool in this. It's just 
you, there are so few spellcasters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, the other spell that I took, because I also got a petty magic spell besides a lesser magic spell, was um, uh, basically the one that I can give other people the ability to breathe underwater. Huh? Nice. That's cool. I'm sad I never, I, I'll never get to be a white wolf. <laughs> it's just yeah, not, that... not in my inborn abilities. It's not. You you have to be you have to be a divine magic user in order to do it. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So cool though. It it is. There's a again, this game Swihander has a lot of really cool stuff, but because of random character creation, a lot of it is gonna be inaccessible to a lot of characters. Also, Saint, uh we yeah. need to go sue Robert Rodriguez because he's got a Netflix superhero movie coming out called We Can Be Heroes and we did that first with Mass. <laughs> so, just, Damn you know, it! We're, we're suing, uh, yeah, but it we're, will we're include Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Sorry to derail all of our conclusion stuff. I just saw that and it pissed me off. <laughs> it's like we had that first. <laughs> Did it first? Wow, weird. That's so weird. I would totally use the City of Pearls again for like a Burning Wheel game. Yeah, hold on to it, man. It good yeah, stuff, for man. sure. It's a great setting for sure. Yeah, I'm I'm happy it worked as well as it did, and like. I made all these factions, and then, like, a lot of them come up, which is fine, but, like, a lot of them, like, I could definitely use this for, like, a Burning Wheel game or something. Um, I was actually done. telling the outro, like, I feel like it doesn't matter what campaign setting we play, we all work together so well that, like, I would have fun with whatever we do, you know? Because mm -hmm. we've been talking about, like, what we're going to do next for a while now, and I just feel like, regardless of the setting, it seems like we're able to pick up and gel really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but for those wondering, because I think I've, I've said my piece on Swihander, I think y'all have, if you want to talk about it, you can, but um, if you want to, please take please take it, because otherwise I'm going to go on to possibly what we're doing next, because uh, I will be... I think it's time. I will be relinquishing the, the reins of GMing uh, and <laughs> passing it back to Kelsa. Because uh, we're going to go back to Scum Villainy. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, Are we villainy. set on calling it Season 2 of Packet Loss? Uh, I don't really have much to do. I mean, it, it may. Yeah, I mean, it I doesn't, it doesn't have to, but, like, that's just our I, Scum and Villainy, you know? I don't, like, yeah, because we're not, I, I, I have a feeling, like, I have a feeling we're not going to be on the Packet Loss. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, is one, is a big thing. So, like, we could call it Packet Loss, but it'd be confusing because it'd be like, this has, this has little it's to do literally, with... literally nothing to do with packet loss yeah, I, I agree like unless like unless we're like taking like keeping the fact like some of the faction changes and stuff from packet loss which, which we could like having the clone like the clone liberation yeah like we could for sure like, keep the but... history of the game and then yeah. just be other characters like in that universe you know? yeah i mean sure. it's a whole universe it is it, it is um so I don't know. We should discuss we'll, whether we'll talk we're about that before yeah. off, yeah. off screen. Yeah. No, uh, we have finally decided what we were going. We could, yeah, yeah, we could like figure out the ship right now because we still have. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> uh, aside well, from teaching Shay, do we need a session zero? I, we definitely uh, should. Yeah, session we should do a session zero right. regardless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we should I mean, figure it, out. It, it might roll into the first uh, score, if depending on how quickly everybody pulls together. But I definitely mm -hmm. think that crew creation should happen as a group, as well as character creation. Like y'all have some, I some of you have some ideas for characters, but I think it would be very helpful for you for for us to make them at the same time. Look, yeah, I was told I, I could be a hyper intelligent cat. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean. <laughs> That's really all you need to know. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. Yeah, that matters. and I was and I was just saying, like, just choosing the ship, not even, like, doing all the creation stuff for it, just being, like, do we want to do another smuggling ship? Do we want to do a bounty hunter? Sh uh, do we want to do the Cerberus, the bounty hunter ship? Or do we want to do the Fire Drake, which is, like, the the um, rebels slash mafia slash mercenary ship? From what I recall, I want to... I, I don't want to do, like a hardcore bounty hunter thing. I want to do more of a cowboy what? bebop sort of thing. Mm. At yeah, least I'd that's be, my preference. I'm down to play whatever. I, I, I've been hearing a lot of people say bounty hunters, and I'm, again, I'm down to do Cerberus and everybody else's. So. Yeah, that works for me. Okay. Cool. I, I haven't... I have, black phone. 
I've got some ideas for a mechanic, so I will probably cool. I might be playing that. Um, because I obviously last time I did pilot and scoundrel, um, and that was fun. But but obviously flashbulb is busy leading a revolution and uh, and our lovely garbage fire. Um, I is, mean, is not fit for this crew. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure. I I'm mean, pretty sure I'm they're sure not. They could. They, they could find a place in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I, I love them, but I don't. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll have to see. They will not be my first character, is what I would say. Yeah, ballad. Ballad is ballad. Ballad is gonna take a rest at least. Mm, so um, significantly yeah. less drugs for this crew. I, we haven't decided that yet. <laughs> we could. We might be taking I mean, them more instead of selling them. I was uh, gonna say if we're, if we're going if we're going the cowboy bebop route. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, mean, I, I just, said, I, I, I joked about vicing out on catnip. So. Mm. Well, cool. That's 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 a good starting point, and we can we can jump off from that uh, next time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, I would not complain if we ended a little early here. Oh, yep, no, yeah. totally totally agree. fifteen yeah. minutes early, bah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I, just wanted to get out that out of the way so people know, hey, we're gonna be doing session zero of our Scum and Villainy game next week, and we'll be playing a bounty hunter crew. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yay. Hooray. Hooray. All right. Well, let's start with some outros. Uh, starting with outro. I am outro. I'm doing nothing but this on Thursdays, and I have a Twitter. It's outro four two. That's me. Bye bye. And <laughs> faster one go Reese. Uh, you can find me here on Thursdays. Follow me at Reese Dragon on Twitter. That's me. Yay. And Kelsa, rapid fire. Oh no! Hello, I'm <laughs> Kelsa. I do role playing games on the internet. You can find me here on the Thursdays on my own channel on every other Monday, and every other Saturday, and games. Shay. Gotta go fast. Hi, I'm Shay. I am a member of Party Wicked, and you can find he me here most days of the week. I'm also an artist, and I draw on my own channel, which is uh, twitch.tv slash shaygem. I also have a Twitter, and I am open for permissions. You can find some of my art and my price sheet there at uh, twitter.com slash jemshay, G-M-S-H-A-E. That is me. All right. See, get it going. Hi everybody, my name is St. Garn, I'm a variety streamer, voice actor, game designer, and sometimes GM a tabletop role-playing game. Extra, you, extra, extra. At, you usually can find me over on my own channel, twitch.tv slash St. Guard. I play variety of video games over there from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Fridays through to Mondays. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram. On Twitter, it's at St. Garley. That's usually the username with the L-I at the end, and on Instagram, it's just St. Guard, and that's me. Hi, that was I think St. Garth was the best <laughs> That was good. I, I, was really, I was really waiting to see how he would do the tabletop variety role play yeah, streamer. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Rindis. You're watching our channel, Party Wipe Games. The only thing I'm going to say is we uh, stream most days of the week, except for Wednesdays, which will now become over on Encounter Roleplay, where I have a paid gig uh, for them playing uh, Cult Divinity Lost. Uh, tomorrow, you can catch us. We will not be doing the reading because it is my birthday, and we will be doing birthday stream stuff. Aww. Maybe yeah. we'll do some reading, but I have planned that that we uh, will be doing party games, and I will also take a look at um, Disco Elysium. I gotta keep it fast, too. That's gonna be it, though. Uh, who do we want to rate tonight? Do, 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 do. Oh. <laughs> I, I, only, I, I only see the party work gaming up right now. <laughs> Diesel Shot is not. Are they on? Zweihander, AP Gaming, Actual Play, Proficiency Bone. Uh, we can go to Zweihander. Why not? It's our last game with them, so we'll send these people their way so that they can enjoy some spy hander i'm slowing down <laughs> we're gonna go raid spy hander everybody say hi to spy hander and uh, be sure to come by tomorrow for the birthday stream woo 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 bye everybody bye, bye guys love y'all four seconds until it's good